Okay. Alright. So, so, last welcome time. Welcome to the math stream where we're streaming Matt doing math <laughs> The first game we're playing is Mad Adventure. That's where I put on a GoPro and I go around the city and. No, like, this is where we get to sit and watch John do something for. And like I, I fight happy. people. Goodness. Like cops and homeless people. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right. So, last time we played, uh, Beef, Mortimer, and Gerald, you all went to the mines in order to either find iron or find um, the mining crew that you were sent to get. Um, you found some bodies. bodies. You're unsure whether or not they were from the mining crew, but you did find um, tracks of many of people being dragged away from the mines. Um, while you were in there, you, uh, Gerald double crit a spider to death. Yeah, that was um, pretty cool. And you, you ran into some goblins um, who had a bit of a treasure hoard that um, <laughs> Mortimer took. You also you found your that. iron, and you were leaving the um, mines at that point. While wow. you were doing this, Gamma was in the magic library of Falconhaven and found a strange book that um, tells of being able to see into the future, and he found that it was written by Bree the Swamp Witch, and... Um, Hero had warned him to not Please tell travel. me that's her actual name. I'm back! Like, your legal that's, name. That's her title. We're actually playing now, Nathan. I'm recapping. Oh. Um, Hero had told Gamma that uh, he probably didn't want to go into the swamp without his party. At that point, his little gang of guys um, found stand-ins for all of you who yep. were less than satisfactory. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm still taking them with me. This entire time, uh, Ocarina has been in the bar just drinking her sorrows away. Uh, nah, and... I went on my own little adventure. Alright, well that's good. Because at that <laughs> same time, Keldry was just checking out the sights in the city. Because he un he's unable to leave until the end of the day. Um, or unless he just sneaks out. I mean, I can't stop that. Except I can. Except I can't. Uh, You're God. You can do whatever. Also, Jonah will not be with us this afternoon. He might be here later. Um, for now, his character is going to be more of a silent type, which is contradictory to his actual character. Anyways. Ocarina. Yee. What were you doing while everyone was... Do off doing their own things. Uh, but like, brain fart. Okay, so I was waiting to hear news from someone about some Be right pups. Back. Some cups. Pups. P U P pups. Oh, okay. So you. Yeah. Oh, so you're looking into getting an animal. Well, yeah, pretty much. Basically, I was waiting for them to be old enough that they could be separated from their mother, one of them at least. And I think I picked one out. Um, yeah, I assume that when you were out, you were able to find a puppy. Um, right now he doesn't seem old enough to be taken out. But she. Don't she, assume her gender. Sorry, she. <laughs> um, but sooner or later, you'll probably get... You'd be they are he's they he's gonna hold her for you so you'll be able to come back and get her. Um, Aw, I can't just keep it's her. Total, it's totally it's totally not a level thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, Keldry. Yes. Uh, the sombrero owl. Indeed. Uh, while you're while around you're town, around. what are you doing? Well, I am going to see if I can figure out where Ocarina is. Um, make a survival check. Oh yay, the stat that I plus zero in. 19. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Well, oh, Fred, you have my dice. Even though Whoa. you're even though you're not a great uh survivalist, you ended up finding Ocarina um talking to a man that looks like about some puppies, um wolves puppies. in fact. Yes. They're behind you on the floor. 
I will listen in, but I I will not interrupt for now. Uh, while you listen, you just hear that he the got the man say, yeah, we'll, "We'll save him for you, or save her for you until she's old enough to be separated from her mom." These aren't my dice. They're not. Oh, whoops, wrong dice. And then she gives everybody a sad face. No. Oh my god. <laughs> it got caught on my pink uh, on my pinky. Don't don't yell. At it. Don't, don't get upset about it. Gamma. So, so, you're talking to Hero, and, uh, yeah. so Locking. you just, you just got to, um, see, or you just saw that, uh, your little band of hooligans came up with, um, party, party members, members that, that don't seem like you your party, go, but... <laughs> you wanna go back over and repeat all of them to us? If I can remember them, I didn't write them down. I think, okay, so... The, one of them was, like, the tallest midget, or, like, the shortest. Remember yeah, yeah, that? so... So there was the one that the, they thought to be your part, your uh, party member Ocarina, who was a fat um, elf with like a toothpick air um, bow. That uh, looks exactly like her. <laughs> wow. There was a um, there was actually that um, guy who gave you drugs um, playing on like a, a tiny banjo. Um, you think this was probably beef? Uh, you see someone who is repeating over and over. Can you stop crunching so much, Nathan? <laughs> over and over. over. And Not today. Not today. I won't. I won't do it today. While he holds a knife in his hand, like almost kind of up to himself. Um, okay. you, you you assume that this was probably meh. Um, uh, you see, you see a little guy who's actually literally scared of his in sha his own shadow. Um, that was, it's actually, uh, ironically, um, he's not, he's not a gnome, he's a halfling, but they're almost the same, so whatever. And then you see the most, like, average man in the world, and you think this is probably supposed to be Gerald. Actually, I remember when you described him last time was a person muttering to themselves, I'm a human, I'm a human, I'm a human, I'm well, a human. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then that's it, so go for that. Um, Hero oh, I... looks at the your group and your hooligans like, oh, um, them again. Uh, is this your party? You know, I don't want to say no, but it's awfully close. But no, it's it it isn't. Uh, well, uh, where would your party be if these aren't them? Uh, the you're a. Uh... Here, uh, Here, uh, one, the, the, one of your guys like, Yo, Yo dude, dude, this, this isn't, isn't your, party? your party? What? what? Also, Miranda, can you, like, lower your sensitivity and have the mic up to your mouth? That would be awesome so I could actually pretend to be these people. <laughs> what? I'm, gonna Lord, finish I'm not this going to your mic. I'm going to oh. just down this beer and figure out how to deal with this. I'll fix that. Yo, wait. Bro, 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 this ain't this your party? Unfortunately, no, guys. Close. I but told no you terror. it wasn't his party, but you said you were the one that took these guys. Listen! And she hit, he hits, he hits, <laughs> one of them hits the other across the face. I told wow. you this wasn't the party. I'm sorry, bro. I know we got you that face tattoo. I'm sorry, bro. Um, no, no, I, I appreciate the effort. We'll go find your actual party. Here, let's. Let's take these guys. Come on, come on, come on guys. Come on. Let's take these people out. They actually <laughs> just go put them back in a corner. <laughs> they actually, you actually see them just go around a um a, a house. You don't, you don't know where they're going with that. Um, I'm kind of worried. At, at this, you see, actually see uh, Ocarina and uh, Keldry walking towards you. Um, now you two, those two I know. Yeah, these they notice. Uh, you notice Omega talking to a dragonborn Gamma. female wearing um look, wearing looks to be scale mail. Oh, did I say Omega? Oh, sorry, Gamma. You you see Gamma talking um with a female dragonborn that seems to be wearing scale mail. What are you guys going to do? Completely ignore him. <laughs> scale scale mail sounds like the like the mailing list of like a furry website. <laughs> hey, how'd you find out? Okay. I mean, what? 
So what you're saying is like we specializes in lizards. Basically, we see Gamma. We see Gamma, but we see his hooligans too. No, they yeah. left. Oh, they no, left. No, yeah, you don't see his hooligans. Okay, I guess I'll just walk up to Gamma and just be like, <sighs> "So what you been up to? Get any leads?" I got a tattoo. I formed a group of hooligans, and I spent like four hours in the library. Huh. Um, you oh, did, this is hero. <laughs> you also you did find that book, John and or um, Gamma, and you know about the uh, witch, Swamp yeah. Witch. But um, I feel like I'll share that information once we get everybody together because I don't want to repeat myself. Ah, nice. Uh. I extend also, my hand to, to like you know hero. Hello. Reduce myself. Is this your girlfriend? She says to you, Gamma. No. Good. Oh, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this is going. I don't know how it feels. He's he's a tweet dragonborn, but uh, not not my cup of tea. Mm, with scales like that, I don't see how he couldn't be. Um, well, I'm Akrina, and I've been traveling with uh, Gamma and some other of us on our party, trying to get some answers about this place, town that we were in, that just suddenly kind of... Uh, she's already covered on that. Yeah, oh, okay, good, yeah. 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 It's, um, it's, it's awkward Gamma, to explain. Gamma it's here told me about situation. it. We don't know of any town from where you speak of, though. Um, I said, though, if there was anything that... That link to it, Gamma would have found something in the uh, library. So he found he did find that book. He said, "Nope, it has the information that we need to get the others for." I could tell you now what it is, but I don't want to repeat myself. But um, yeah, we don't know of any town. Um, do you know the name? What the name of the town was? <laughs> I can't remember. Can I roll for you to tell me? This is why you guys <laughs> should write down notes. I can't really tell you to write them, cause... down notes. Wait, hold on. I think I may have it in notes. I don't remember if, uh... I gotta open my notes, though. I didn't even open up my character sheet. Is this... Don't it? worry. Don't worry, Fred. I got this. I got this. <laughs> That's Gamma, and that's Gamma's notes. Now, where did I put it? Notes. No, guys. Oh, God damn it. Mm. Oh, dear. You want me to just tell you what it was? I can roll for it if that makes you feel better. No, it was named Larn Wait, what, is, what does Gamma have? Well, does he just have, like, a staff? La no, I have an orb. Yeah, he has an orb. Like, we done messed up. Like a I picked it because it was the most expensive. And it all, but it all does the same thing. Uh, it's actually the most expensive and like the most unwieldy. Uh, Larnwick, L A R N W I C K. W I C K, Larnwick. Okay. Yep, the town was known as Larnwick. There's no town of Larnwick here. Well, not here, but some More. win. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> um, Did you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard. Uh, <laughs> flash to Gerald Mortimer and Beef. You guys. All right. What was going on exactly? So you had killed goblins in the mine. You got some iron. This was all for Baby Maverick. Um, I'm yep. going to assume Beef is holding Baby Maverick at the moment. Oh. Um, on your way out, and well, on your way in, you guys had noticed uh, tracks. Look, that looked like drag marks, like some people have gotten dragged away from the mines. Um, they're headed more towards the north. Um, and when you leave the mines with these barrels of iron on your backs, um, you can still see the tracks going to the north. But you know that Falconhaven, the um, city that everyone is at right now, uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the path to get back there is towards the southeast, and then once you hit the road, it'll go totally south. Okay. You do remember that um, the uh, the black So did we get the did we not get the baby armor yet? We just got no, the raw you, materials? No, you just have the raw materials. Oh, that's right. You kidnapped a child. Right. You do know that the blacksmith, we're going to call him Tolk Storm Stonehammer. I don't remember what his actual name was, was and if I gave him one. <laughs> but that's what it's going to be. Um, you know work. that... You, or you were asked from him, one, he didn't have any, he was running on out of iron, 
and two, he wanted you to find the mining um company that, or you know, caravan that uh he had bu business deals with that hadn't been returning for about a week. Oh yeah, we found um, his bones. Yeah, I guess we'll go back there and try and get our baby armor. All right. So, um, make oh, a. Oh wait, wait, wait. Well, we know, right? What happened? Because I mean, it seems pretty clear that they were killed by the guy. Um, you. I guess we could go the other way. And make you sure. don't know if the. Uh, you saw. You found some bodies in the um, mine, but. For a mine of that size, the amount you found was definitely not, could not have been the full um, um, convoy. You do s obviously see drag marks of people being pulled away. I guess we'll go down the drag marks and see a little way. All right. Um, make uh, all yeah. you all you all yeah. all you all make some perception checks. Eight. All of us are just, the ones, that just on. the, the, just the ones. Just the just the ones. You using a dice roller when I'm giving all. you physical dice to use? What a, what a bag. Matthew, I have like <laughs> a pack. I have thir dice 20 dice that room. you can borrow. 20 dice oh, sets you bitch. Can yeah, but This I is D&D. Use real dice or you're a bitch. Anyways, what'd you guys roll? I guess I'll be a bitch. Eight. Is that plus? That, is that total? Oh, okay. Uh, what about you, Joe? I got plus one in perception. What'd you roll, Gerald, my baby? Come on, Hold you got on. an intelligence of 13. A that's, a, that's a plus one. <laughs> Give me a freaking moment. All right. If you guys go to my stream, you can Someone see everyone's stats. My nice new overlay. <laughs> the one I stole. Right. <laughs> yeah, the one no, I made no, that Miranda stole. To, come to mine. You don't have an overlay, John. No, I don't, but mine's way better. <laughs> Did you oh, see it, wow. John? I got I a did. 20. It was pretty awesome. Not now. I, it was total. Total 20. 20. Oh, okay. Well, then you, while you're following these tracks, you easily can um, tell that there are goblin and wolf tracks going in other directions as well. They look to you as if um, there have been goblins patrolling this area by the way that the um, they're going. Probably going to have to fight more goblins, aren't they? Hi, Noble. <laughs> Noble, hold come on. to my channel. Oh, hold on, hold on. Can I go back? Go back down the tracks? Yeah, yeah. I want to go back and make something out of the dead goblins. I'll just say you. I think you dragged the dead goblin out with you. All right. Can I make a shield out good. of him in such hey, a Noble? way that it's clear that it was a goblin? Do. Um. Yeah. So you grab your. You take like out your rope, right? Wait, I actually did it. Hold on, I think I might have made something. Hold on, let me check. Let so, me check he's eaten a bird lady in our other campaign, and now he's going to use the corpse of an orc to make stuff. Well, no, that's Matthew. <laughs> that's Matthew. Well, I hate the bird that's lady. an ability. Oh, that's okay, so no, any um, is Matt, John, uh, a lizard folk literally has the ability to take, like, the bones, meat, and just bodies of people and turn them into weapons. That's horrifying! They I really see you running are. around with like an arm and just <laughs> beating people. Yes. What would you rather the bodies just be in the ground? Yeah. Yes. yes. Wasted, wasted <laughs> raw material is exactly. what I call that. Exactly. See, he gets that. I think Nathan's trying to get to the point that he wants to eat the orc. I. They, they I'm, were I'm uh, half goblins. Orc. They were goblins, Listen. by the way. God, they were goblins. Oh, okay, wow, God. racist. I bet. I bet. I bet they all look the same orc. to you. All look the same. If it, wasn't for the orcs, look the same. if it wasn't for the orcs, we wouldn't have Land Terror, Land War 3. I can tell you this right now. But yeah, now. if you didn't make Man anything... It's just as bad as orcs, if not worse. If you, did, if you didn't make anything, um, Gerald, you can actually... Uh, I didn't. You can I'm actually, gonna make like... a shield. Can I make a shield in such a way that it's clear that it used to be a goblin? Okay, so yeah, you take the goblin's body, right? And it's wait, goblins wait, are no, small. No, 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 I'm sorry, forget that. I want to make a goblin costume. Can I do that? No! Okay, you no! can. I'm done! I'm done! You can take out your dagger and carve off his skin. But um, <laughs> to act. Okay, so first it's going to take you about 
an hour to carve off all the skin necessary. And then it's going to take at least eight hours for you to dry it so that way you can like wear mm. it and it not be like people uncomfortable. Are sick. So you can like take an hour now, carve out all the skin, kind of wrap it up in like cloth and throw it in your bag for later. If you want. Alright, uh, how long will taking making a shield take? You could just take the goblin's bo whole body, take a <laughs> rope and just tie his arms and legs together, and just have it like <laughs> have it like held to your arm, so it's just like a full goblin basically as a shield. Okay, I want to do that with the captain, the captain guy. Okay, so you got so the captain clear. goblin. Yeah, yeah. Do okay. I wonder if, does anyone see where I'm going with this? That on, that only takes you about ten minutes to do. You're you're uh, you're master artisan of the body. All right. All right. So then I walk right in there in that area that seems like goblins have been patrolling it. All right, uh, Mortimer. You, while you were watching him do that, <laughs> Beef says, "Wow, is oh, this what this humans do?" <laughs> like and then I, I go, oh, yeah, "Yeah, yeah, totally." Um, you know, you got you never waste a body. You know, it's it'd be. It'd be really wasteful, so we just t turn them all into stuff, you know? Very efficient. Alright. Like a human would. So... <laughs> you okay, John? <laughs> and Mortimer, I guess, just doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like... I'm just, just looking at him and just like... I don't hey, care John, enough. John, what right. are you wearing? So, as you guys... Your character. <laughs> now you guys are just gonna go down these tracks where the, um... You saw that the drag dragging tracks and where you saw patrolling goblin tracks. I oh, guess so. Okay. John, what will your character be wearing? I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say this every time. You should or shouldn't. Are you gonna do it stealthfully? John, what will your character be wearing? Don't worry about it. I'm <laughs> drawing him. I want to know what he looks like. Oh, I'm uh, wearing like a. Uh, all right, so like you're gonna you're gonna be stealthy. Half I guess Matt's my... just gonna be whatever. All right, well I guess that it doesn't matter. <laughs> so uh, Matt, yeah. are you gonna be stealthy? No, I'm gonna walk right in there. I'm gonna try intimidating them. There's nothing to intimidate yet. Like... Yeah, well I mean I'm assuming okay. that I'm good that I'm gonna find some or some some goblins, and if I do, I'm gonna be like. Hey, this is what happened to the last goblin that tried to mess with me. So that's I'm just gonna march right in there. All right. So you three and baby Maverick. Mhm. Mm <laughs> so there's two of us essentially, since Jonah's on autopilot. Um. Well, I'll be doing. Oh, I don't have Jonah's stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's gonna. Yeah, Jonah's not gonna be helping. Well, he's got much. the baby. So why would he be fighting? That's true. Put um, the baby on the rope. <laughs> Put the so... baby on the rope and like swing it and beat people with it. <laughs> baby bear. And you had problems with people like so Matt. With Gerald making yeah, but a baby well, doesn't have consciousness. As you, as you, wa as neither does a dead body. Gerald, as you, uh, you guys are marching down through the forest, um, through these, following this path, um, or these tracks, an arrow comes from the trees and hits oh, you no. right into the shoulder, dealing five piercing damage. Oh no! <laughs> Make a perception check. Oh no! Make a perception How check. How could you do this to me? I thought you were the DM. I trust Gerald, you. Gerald, make a perception check. All right, give me a second. Give me. Here we go. Perception check. Roll. Uh. Miranda called uh, me a potato. When did I, I call you nine? a potato? Yeah, nine. Nope, that's what Noble just said. So you're the worst person ever. Oh, Noble's watching your stream. Nine. Total of nine? Yep. Oh, okay. You don't know where that arrow came from. I, yeah. Um, I'm going to shout out and wielding my shield. I'm going to be like, hey, whoever just hit me, I ain't looking for any trouble. But if, you, if you're if you looking for it, this is what happened to the last goblin that tried to face <laughs> me. And they show off the big goblin shield. I can't wait for okay. your shield to smell terrible. Roll intimidation. Intimidation. Here we go. I huff annoyingly from the background. <laughs> oh, I'm a potato. Miranda's a tomato. Is wearing I? a red shirt? Sure, we'll go 16. with that reason. 16. Am I a vegetable? Yep. 
Yeah, you're a watermelon. Um, you don't know if that affected them anything because you can't All see right. them. I'm not sure if you'd be offended because watermelon flies on fat or because At that, another arrow flies at you. Because they're delicious. And hits oh, no. you, dealing another five piercing damage. What? I can't even do like a dex saving or anything? Nope, they're hitting your armor class. I see. Bad no uh, Mortimer, what is your armor class? Oh, it is. It's Sorry, hold on. How much damage did 18. it take total? How much is it? 16. I said 16, Fred. How okay, so an arrow. Fred? You've taken 10 so far. An arrow comes flying at you, and you see that it um dinks off your chain shirt, so it just kind of like just grazes it and bounces off. Uh, roll initiative for me. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. Uh, what did you want me to do? I got five. Hey, Fred. Yeah. Eighteen. Never sent me the updated uh PDF of my. What? Ah. What's that, babe? Never sent me the updated. Oh, okay. I'll do that in a second. Yeah, because I don't have a PDF. <coughs> uh, and, uh, beef. Uh, meh. And Gerald. Okay, so Gerald, what was yours? I got like five. Yeah, five. I got like five. I'm barely paying attention. Oh God! Meh, what did Their you get? Hash fig, sacrifice John. That's my Meh, stream. what did you get? Yeah, I got losing. I got eighteen. Oh, nice. Uh, Hashtag beef, John wins. Beef got a five as well, so he's gonna be five, I believe. Ooh, he's five A. Someone better roll twenty soon. You can drink. You don't have to. You can just shots that you're taking. I'm drinking a beer and about to make a mixed drink. Drink. Okay. Meh. It's your turn. All right. Well, so right now, do I, the only thing I have no idea where they are. Yeah, right now the only thing you know is that the arrows came from the trees. You can mm -hmm. uh, make perception checks to try to find them. Sure, I'll make perception. Or you could just make a shot in the dark. Up to you. You know what? Shot in the dark sounds more fun. <laughs> okay. With my uh, large crossbow, I'm gonna make a shot in the dark. Yeah, but which way? Just tell me, like, and like on a compass, which way you'd shoot to. Well, I can tell they shot from a general area, I'm guessing. Okay, so yeah, you're going to shoot in the general area. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, no, make, I'm not going to... What, you think I'm going to, like, close my make, eyes and pick a dirt... Well, no, something No, I, I didn't quite make this clear. I just want to make this 100% clear. The arrow that... You saw the arrow that shot... that um The two arrows that shot Gerald? They seem to come from the right. The one that hit you came from the left. Well, he's got his own business. I'm going to shoot the guy that's shooting at me. Okay, so you shoot him <laughs> off. Okay, make a roll. With disadvantage. I figured. Alright, first one's 14. Other one is 10 plus 4, so that's 14. What was the first one? Uh, it was 14 plus 4. The other one was 10 plus 4. Okay, so... so okay, so... 14. A 14, <laughs> a 14, you didn't seem, you don't think you hit anything. Um, not that. Ow. And I lose a bolt. How many bolts do I have? I think 20. Uh, Gerald, another arrow comes flying at you, and it hits you for another 5 piercing damage. Oh my goodness. Die! And... Meh. I'm not doing well. Another oh, no. arrow um, fires at you, but bounces off your armor again. Damn um, straight. At that point, at this point, beef. I don't know what beef spell spell list is. I, think I might just run. What do you think? I have no Are idea what beef spell list Matthew? is. So I'm going to just look at bard spells and assume it which one it is. That he ha that he is choosing. I know I he has charm run. person. I don't got for this fight. Um. We should uh, text him and find out. He's going to cast Cure Wounds on Gerald. Gerald. Mm -hmm. You heal for 7 HP. Whoa. 14. Like I said, <laughs> thank you for following. Alright, uh, go ahead, uh, Gerald. 
All right, where are they attacking from? You know that like, one. Can I tell? You know the one that shot you came from the trees yep. somewhere to your right. Um, the one that's shooting um, Mortimer is from the left, but you can't right, see I'm them. All right, I'm gonna throw a javelin. Just Make a blind sure. shot into the right. All right, blind shot. Attack right. bonus. Attack bonus plus five, right? Yep. No! Ah, like so. Did you roll one? Twelve. Okay, that's all. It had disadvantage, oh. but you would have missed anyways. Um, yeah, you don't think you hit anything. Um. So, nah. Mortimer. Hey, what weapon does Matt have? All right. Well, now I'm uh, gonna try to actually perceive. Of some sort. That's it. Well, he has dual hand axes as well. Okay, yeah, make a perception check. Nine. Ye oh, <laughs> nope, yeah, you still don't see anything. Um, I'm going to say that that was just a free action for you. Oh, cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna take another shot in the dark. Alright. Oh. You wouldn't really take six seconds just to stand there and look. Dang it! Okay, uh, so 13 plus 4 is a number? That is 16. 16. That'd be a 16, right? Wait. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Sorry, yeah, 17. <laughs> is, oh, is that your lower roll? Yeah. So your crossbow bolt fires, and you actually hear, hear a gob uh, what sounds like a goblin, um, writhe in pain, roll damage. That is a d8 plus change. Seven. Uh, you see a goblin fall from plus, the trees dead. Oh. oh, plus two, okay. It just... <laughs> onto the ground. <laughs> Um, I chuckle at that. So after you, okay. So, um, Gerald, I want you to make a perception check with advantage. Okay. What is my perception? Mm. Well, nineteen. Oh, whoa, nineteen plus. Plus two, does that already do it? Yeah. Um All you right. see you actually see a goblin now retreating, um going parallel in the trees, going parallel with the uh, dragging tracks. I'm gonna chase after him. Okay. Are you just doing like, are you just running? Well I'm gonna like go after him. I'm not gonna like be like chasing him down, okay. I'm gonna like try and follow him. Okay. Uh, make it see, uh, you know what? Okay. Uh, you know what? You guys should probably, we should probably take a shot. I just rolled a nat 20 for you guys. <laughs> so that kind of counts. God damn, good thing I have a pre don't, don't you, don't you complain, Yancey. <laughs> I hear you. Oh, I gotta, I gotta drink alcohol and have a good time. Oh, it sucks so much. Since when did men become such bitches? I know, right? Why are you so quiet, Yancey? Wait, what the hell? Yancey! You sound really quiet. We can't hey, hear you. What is Matt wearing? Matt wears chain armor. Yeah. That is the weirdest thing to keep asking people. Stop it! Is that better? <laughs> there you go, that's way better. Okay. What are you wearing? And you know what, Fred? <laughs> I'll be a bitch if I want to be a bitch. Okay. So, you miraculously don't run into any other enemies. When you get to this large clearing, um, the goblin seems to have disappeared. You weren't able to keep a track on him. But in this clearing, you can see down into a open chasm. It isn't super deep. It's only about 150 feet like going down, but it's like a slope down. In the middle of it, though, you see... Wait, are we on uh, 
Gamma and Akira. No, this, this, is, this is still on you. This is oh, this sorry. is you. You guys got through all the the, wood, the forest, and at the oh, end no, is yeah. this large. Well, I rolled a dat twenty for you guys, so <laughs> you see this large chasm going about hundred fifty feet down. Um, it slopes down, so you could go down into it. But in it, in the distance, you see what looks to be a uh, a large circular wall. You, if you had to take a guess, that's probably a goblin camp because you've seen these before. Is that down? Yeah, it's down. It's down into the chasm. All right, all right, all right. Um, in the middle, you see something strange, though, on a tall tower. I want you guys to make a perception check. Okay. Nine. Gerald. Perception check for me, baby. Yep. Oh. Wait, no, it's six. Well, thankfully, beef rolled good. All right. <laughs> beef. Beef Yay, says. Beef, beef says. Uh, guys, that looks like a really large ballista. You guys know what a ballista is? Yeah. It's yeah. A crossbow, right? Yep. Um. Yeah, Kinda and yeah. and now when you're looking at it, as you see it, you actually can see this giant ballista, and you see that it seems that it turns or, like on its own, from what oh. you can tell. It's, it's a miracle. Like is it, it like the one from Dun or Dark Souls? Yeah. Thanks, Dark Souls. Wow. <laughs> Your... It's not going to be that bad, but it's not going to be that good either. Um, but it. <laughs> Um, you're too far away for anyone to conceivably see you guys, so you know you're not in any danger of it, but your recon shows you that much that it seems there's a goblin camp down there, and in the middle of an, on a very, on a tall tower is a ballista that seems to be, um, scanning the land. What do you guys want to do? We should probably do? get, I, I say to uh, them, we should probably get the rest of the party. Beef or says attack. Beef is like I don't care. second. I I don't think we should I don't think we should go down there. I, I I'm kind of hurt. I know you guys are kind of hurt. We should probably go rest. Got it. Everybody run straight <laughs> in naked. Oh yeah, I have 9 hit points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, that's what I mean. We should probably go rest. I think we're going to come back later uh like after we've healed up and everything. I'd send me my is, it, is everyone just gonna ignore oh. my like? Maybe we should go get the rest of the party, or we just that's yeah. what that's what that's what Gerald just yeah, said. Yeah, that's what I was suggesting. We go oh, back okay. to the town. Yeah, I'm sending it to you now. And, like deal with this later. <laughs> All right, sure. All right, so you guys turn sure. around to go back to the town. All right, well, we'll. Oh, with... frick! I'm gonna have to make. Why do you spell longer. my name that way? We'll deal with you with a second. What do you mean? How do I spell your your name? Oh, sorry, that's right. You don't want me talking to the chat while we're. Oh, yeah. That's sorry. Fine. My fault. Uh, what I do? It's like what I do. I didn't do anything, Jen. Uh, no, you can you can talk to chat. Just type. It's, don't don't talk to him too much. Well, not out loud, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Akar Akari Kira. No, it's Akari. Where is freaking uh da 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 Dungeons and Dragon stuff? I need Miranda's. God dang dingy thing. Anyways, I'm gonna move on to back back to Gamma, um, Aki and Keldry. Yay! Um, Gross. So you guys are ta we're talking to each other last. What do you guys want to do while you're in this top this city? Well, we gotta find the rest of the party so I can like relay this information to them and we can progress the story. Or it could just be us who progress the story because it seems like the other story seems more entertaining. <laughs> Because someone stole a fucking baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Gamma knows about this. Oh, yeah. Sorry. He has like the fourth wall power thing, like Deadpool. <laughs> oh, is this Akarina Dactari? I I Sorry, it. I went halfway from Gamma I'm to just personal sure I found talk. It. I think that's it. Um. Okay. So, what do you want to do? Make a survival check. Oh no. Oh, Alright, so you're on them now, right? So, I can use the bathroom. Survival yeah, yeah, you can go make one real quick. Go ahead with that. Fifteen. Okay. 
Wait, who's it rolling for survival? Any of you. The uh, Gamma, Keldry, or uh, uh, Kirinia. I got a 15. I got a 4. Okay, so Keldry. You know that Gerald is really into blacksmiths. Yay! And okay. you, you saw a blacksmith while you're here. A blacksmith could be a woman, too. <laughs> no, Matthew. That's not how that works. That is how well, it works. I suggest if we want to find the rest of the party, we check the local blacksmith. Certain unfavorable individuals of our party may be there. No, this is Excuse me. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Okay, so you guys you know what it means. You guys travel yeah, I think it to... means Gerald is like the best thing that ever happened in this campaign. Uh, Hero also says, so you guys are leaving me then? Uh, no, you can come along. I'm you, sorry, you, you... I actually, but I do, I cannot. I have, um, captain duties. However, Gamma, we should go on a little dinner date sometime. Sure, um, when I come back from, uh, the swamps, uh, I'll tell you about it. Okay, I, I love to, I'll love to see you, handsome. And she would, uh, she leaves you. She also points you in the direction where the blacksmith is. What would Beef be wearing? Beef is wearing leather armor. Why are you asking all this? I'm drawing our our party. Oh, okay. Remember? Did you not? It was so, your like, idea. What I'm, what I'm wearing are like leather pants with boots, and like a blue robe with a hood that's back. And I got a tattoo on my face, which... Well, what, what did it look like again? Oh, it looked like a... Yeah, it was a... Wait, wasn't it a Y? Just for the like Gamma? Yep, it kind looked of like a y. y. Not yeah, for was... Gamma, though, because... I don't know. Um, That's right. <laughs> anyways, Keldry, Gamma, and Ocarina, you're going to the blacksmith, correct? Yes. Well, on you... the way. Yeah. On the way what? Where on your face? Is uh, it like way. on your forehead? I, I or... would like to uh, Cheek. slip right. Ocarina a... Uh... A bag of of two hundred and fifty gold. Uh, I, uh, are you doing this in a way where she'll notice? <laughs> well, I'm I'm like handing it to her. Okay. I I, I hope this uh, covers our little altercation earlier today. Um. Where did you, where, what kind of where did you get this money? I mean, you know, but he did. Well, yeah, but at the same time, I, I, I don't think I can accept this. <clears throat> Let's just say it's a, uh... What's a polite way to put this? What money? Are you bribing it's... me to be quiet? Well, <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> that, that is the polite way to put it. Don't do it. Immoral. Hmm? Oh, Mr. Oh, Mr. Baby, Baby Stealer! It was, he was in a dangerous living it's condition! Because you're trying to eat it! It's simply um, half of the place. It is no big deal. Well, uh, just on I'll pocket the money, but I, I kind of grudgingly... Okay. Like, like Keldry, no, I'm still kind of weary of it. Hey, Gamma, make a perception check. Got it. Perception is a plus two. Also, Keldry, make a slight ahead. God damn it! Where did it? Nope, nope. Dice fell behind the desk. There it is. Net 20! 22! Hey, Keldry, can you make uh, a net 20 for me? <laughs> Got a 17, which ends up being a 22. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Gamma, you notice Keldry slip. Ocarina, uh, what looks to be a bag of a hefty amount of gold pieces. Well, uh, what, what are you guys doing over there? If I, uh, may intrude. Simply paying her back for an altercation earlier today. Why does she look scared? Not scared. Oh, I thought you said he was threatening you to be quiet. No, He's I just, I, I, I'm just, if anything, I'm just kind of peering at him, kind of like... But more like not in a fully like I, mean, I hate you, but more like, like a she's disgusted or okay. Why, why does she look so like... disgusted by this? Well, you see, I broke something. Hey, about baby, you bring your today. microphone up to you just a little bit more. You're sounding okay, but sometimes you cut off. Hello. That so works perfect. I figured I had to pay her back. <laughs> you should get it about that close, though. Uh, okay. No, I, it's because I, I was feel... turned off a certain way. Since I okay. wasn't there to be part of it. I don't have much say or action in this, 
but the way that she looks is very concerning. I mean, if I broke but something also the valuable way her face of yours, looks. that's rude. I want to try but to. If I broke them. something valuable of yours, would you not be annoyed with me? I guess. So, Keldry, make a deception check. Gamma, make an insight check. Oh, yeah, you gotta take a shot for... Oh, God, oh, nat God. 20, that's right. What the hell are we doing with our lives? What the hell? Is that another nat 20? <laughs> Fuck you, I rolled a 19. I'm glad, I'll just fill this up, because this is a double shot. I'll, uh... God damn it, I have to take shots, too. John, God damn it! John, we've only been playing for, like, less than an hour. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Hold on, let me roll it a third time. Dear lord. I didn't roll it a third time, don't worry about that. That's fine. It was a one. <laughs> oh, well, good. It go, be, <laughs> just be glad that that doesn't count in the game. I know, I just wanted to see Okay, it so yeah, you will know that... Well, Keldry, what'd you roll? 18, up yeah. to 25, but I mean, you know... Fucking yeah. nat 20s. Yeah, so, uh, Gamma, you know Keldry's stone, like, he's lying to you. What is Keldry wearing? I'm gonna... Uh, leather armor, I believe. I'm not gonna show that I know he's lying, but I'm gonna kinda keep an eye on you. Um, what you. Keldry is wearing is similar to, like, if you look at French stream. It's similar to what the guy in the picture is wearing. He's wearing, like, leather pants with a leather jerkin underneath, and then, like fancier clothes over top hiding them. Yeah, I think I got some pretty good images for all y'all. I just had to edit Matthews to have a Groucho Marx glasses on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, so, yeah, leather pants. He's not wearing gloves. Um, leather oh. boots. And then, with like, a leather, like, jerkin underneath of, like... Okay, uh, so... Like, a fancier shirt and jacket. I'm assuming you guys were walking and talking while doing all this. Um, you do make it to the blacksmiths. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, you see that it's called, um, Stonehammer. That is, that is what it's called. Um, I wonder if there's the an upgraded, familiar. wonder if there's well, an upgraded shop. Daggers? Well, that's funny, because it's not, it's, his name's not Kor, don't worry about that. But, no, it's his, his cousin. Maybe some relative, I actually, that's what I thought, maybe some relative. Um, you assume that it's named after the owner. Uh, you don't know his name, but it seems like it seems the kind of thing. It doesn't seem like a normal blacksmith's name. It seems more like a family um, name. That's just this blacksmith particularly seems to be named after. Um, it's a nice looking blacksmith, though. It's um, definitely not small by any means. Nothing in this city really seems small. It seems like a pretty wealthy city. Um, but you walk when, and you. I'm assuming you all walk in, and when you walk in, um, you come into a room that um has like a desk in front of it. It actually seems like this is a place where pe it has a big notebook on it, and actually in this book it seems like people write their names and what they're looking for and what time they want it, where people can write down the requests for stuff the blacksmith to make. No one is there at the moment. It just seems like people walk in and write it down, and he just makes it. And you can see coming from uh, around this, like, stone wall, there's two ways to get around it. Um, and you can see the glow of flames coming from both sides, so you could just assume that both sides go to the same spot, place. Um, and when you walk around, if you guys are proceeding... Yeah, yeah kind of sure. look around, kind of get a... Okay, you pr when you proceed, you see a gray-bearded um, dwarf, obviously, because <laughs> no one else does blacksmithing in this universe. Uh, <laughs> Racist. Forging a uh, a sword, a, a, what looks to be a long sword. Um, Keldry, Gamma, and Ocarina all make perception checks. Curious. What does Ocarina look like? She's a brown haired kinda to the I got um, an eight to the Plus. to the uh, bottom of her neck. Um eight. leather wear leather wearing um rogue who I'm assuming has a hood. Mm hmm Who wears she a She kinda looks like a rogue with. but with like a bow. Um what'd you guys wear? So a ranger. What, yeah. what'd I got an eight. 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 Two eights and what'd you get, Aki? Dark hair. Uh, uh an eight. 
13. Okay. Uh, Ocarina, in your time adventuring with the whole party, um, you guys have been to blacksmiths before to get your items repaired and maybe even buy new ones. Um, you can tell that there seems to be a not... It seems to not be too many much resource here. They don't seem like they have much iron left or any kind of other, um, or that you would normally just see abundantly stacked on tables in these places. Um, but when you guys actually enter this room, um, the dwarf looks up. Sorry, Sorry folks, folks, we do not have any iron left to to make you anything. I apologize. I've sent some got some men out to get me some. Nice men. They said they would. They had a baby. <laughs> oh. Those kind of gentlemen. Wait, do we know that they've stolen the baby? Nope. Or have I been around for that? Okay. Some of them do, I think. No. No. Okay, okay no. can I roll, Only like, in you, beef, and men. No. <laughs> can I roll, like, insight to see if, like, any way I have a hint, like, or a gut feeling? You could... That I know who these... <laughs> you could. You could probably ask him. Information no, I want to just kind of have that feeling before I say anything. Okay. You know, what would I have to roll there? Uh, uh, roll insight. Thirteen. Because you've been with them so long, you're like, oh god, no, Gerald stole the baby. <laughs> it's like, oh god. Um, <laughs> did one of these gentlemen half path into really human, or at least? You know, like talks the about most, his humanness like the most a lot. Human looking person. Yes, he was he was very, very oh, yeah. into how human he was. It was it was actually kind of off putting to be honest. He doesn't seem super human like, but I mean if a man says he is, what am I to um assume his race, right? He was with a <laughs> tiefling child though. Um and a nice Looking, I assume he was a bard with the way he was dressed. <laughs> I'm just gonna like make eye contact with Gamma and just be like. Oh, and there was <laughs> and there was a there was a half orc that didn't say a whole lot, as well. Oh wait, no, Gamma. no, no, there wasn't. Never mind. He never he wasn't in this blacksmith. They met him outside it. Ha 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 ha. They wanted armor for a baby. It's weird. I know. Oh no. But anyways, no, I sent no, anyways, no, I sent them no. out to the mines um to go check out uh to see if my uh wh where my mining co um convoy has been. They haven't talked to m me in god, a week maybe. Um lord. <laughs> hopefully they'll be able to find them, maybe even bring me back some iron. That would be awesome. If they do, you can tell them they'll get a discount on that armor. Hmm. Yes, for the baby. The baby that we knew completely of, and have complete, utter... Are they friends of yours? Yes, it's actually who we were looking for when we came here. Um, could you point us in the direction of the mine? Yes, oh, definitely, Missy. Uh, if you go north, out the north gates, and you just head down for about a mile or two, you will see another path, um, veering off to the east. Um, the path will actually start going into the woods, and you should find, just keep going that way, you'll find the mine. Right. Uh, Gamma. Kaldry uses knives. Yeah. We should probably go check that out. Um, yeah, I'm assuming Kaldry uses daggers, I'm gonna right? say it now, we are um, not held more responsible A bow and a short sword is what he uses. Okay, a bow and a short sword. A bow and a short sword. Does he like tie the bow to the short sword and then beat people with it? Shoot the short sword. Shoot the sword. I use it instead of an arrow. It's a plus seven to your damage. What's that, Matt? What? Well, um, are you gonna go? F are you guys going to no, find them or something? They shoot the arrow. Yeah, they're yeah. kind of our responsibility. You know how they're raising a baby? Well. <laughs> I like. I, I like how it specifically just... in this game it's been um team. Guy, people that will get shit done against team guys <laughs> that are just goofing off. <laughs> Except, never mind, they kind of stumbled upon something too. Um, Nathan, like you missed, think my, you missed I like to think me two and me shots. Both of those things. And you missed them in a row. John just rolled two 20s in a row. Yeah, yeah only, shot, only when I'm going against Yancey will I ever roll 20s. Yep. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, they, he points you in the he points you in your the direction you should go to, um, you know, get to the mines. Anything else you want to say while you're here or do? 
you do see that even though he doesn't have any iron ore to make things, um, on the shelves, you can see he has already made, um, various types of weapons. Um, all of them seem to be your standard affair, you know, short swords, long swords, daggers, um... We got long swords, we got short swords, we got daggers, we got... We have medium swords! Come down to Crazy Owl's Crazy Sword and got do extra, 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 extra long sword, which is like 30 <laughs> feet long! Completely <laughs> practical! <laughs> You need a strength stat of 20 no just to wield it. My prices are so low, I'm going out of business. Um, but yeah, <laughs> just just that you can see you see you see a couple long swords, one short sword, one rapier, about four daggers, and uh, what looked to be a trident that he was going to make, but he seemed to have ran out of materials mid making it. So, do we know what the trident because he got the trident end done? Yeah, yeah, it's got like the three pronged end, but it's like okay. there's no pull. It's kind of just like the three. It's like you'd hold it in one hand and it just has like a, it's like a giant fork. <laughs> it's basically <laughs> what it looks like. Mm, why? Why did? Anybody... Why did Nathan and Matthew's uh my uh cameras freeze up? Maybe their internet died. Who knows? Oh dear. Maybe their parents yelling got so they don't out of control drop that. Oh, oh, they they control. Oh, you called it! <laughs> it done it. messed everything up. Yep. Get it? Oh yeah. god. Oh, I'm wait, wait. If I if I invite board. if I invite them again, it might. It fix might it. fix. No, it won't. <laughs> they done messed up everything. Does that mean that my picture is where the baby is now? Oh god. Uh, oh god, it's so oh, messed man. up. Yeah, it's fucked. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, before those two uh, so rudely crashed on us. Well, yeah, what butt hairs? What I was going to ask was, um... Technical difficult. At the blacksmith, do... Does he possibly have a grappling hook or a, and or a climber's kit? Um... That is such a good question, my dear Yancey. And your answer would be... Uh, I hate the teeth so much. Mm. He has a grappling hook. Just your, and, just but, your standard. But not a climber. The, you know, he does, It looks like he had one, but um, most of the pieces of it are missing. All that's left mm. is a grappling hook. All right. I I would like to purchase the grappling hook. Okay. Hmm. I'd like to purchase your mom. Oh well, okay. That'll be uh, that'll be two gold pieces, my friend. Very well. I'll hand them to. Do I have any money? I don't know. Do you? Unless you spent nope. it all. Yep. <laughs> okay, you spent it all. Got it. Well, I mean, you obviously know that Keldry has some money. Yeah, yeah, but I'm the good guy. I'm not gonna like. Try to blackmail you and no, but you could money. like be like, "Hey, old buddy, old pal." I have you know, no need for weapons. I, really I have my this, orb. You know, <laughs> I see a candy bar. Can I have this? <laughs> <laughs> that kid over there got a candy bar. I want a candy bar. All right. Well, hopefully they'll come back soon. So I'll just focus on you guys. Um. I mean, it is kind of storming out here, but I don't think we it would be enough to knock his wait. internet. Yes. What's that, Dom Yancey? Uh, we are doing, like, wait, right? Like, I can only yeah. carry so much. Yeah. Yeah, Though, so... What's your, right. like, like, your strength is an 11. You should be fine. It's 11. Like, like okay, how much can I carry? Uh, I don't... Multiply that, that includes button. weapons and armor, yes? Yeah, let me just... Uh, because I actually have a lot of shit, so like I'm gonna make sure. Carrying first. capacity. Okay, so with a strength score of 11, a light load for you would be 38 pounds or less. A medium load okay. for you would be 39 to 76 pounds. So that's basically just average, medium. Heavy, mm -hmm. which probably would start to encumber you, is 77 to 115 pounds. Okay, just wait. <laughs> Before you start fat so rolling. So messed up. I fixed you guys. The other two are screwed. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah. Right up the wood.
we might have the technical difficulties uh, take a break, but we'll see. We'll get you guys as far as I can you get want you me to, stupid. You want me to give one of them a call and see what's going on? I need a message Nathan, so we'll see. I Please, send him a text. you text Nathan, you won't hear from him for like three days. <laughs> Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> um, keep going with you guys for a while, and then if it seems like they're not coming back, we can take a break, and I can see what's happening. Uh, I can go try to start dinner early then and get in that break. All right. All well, right. So, it's already pre-made. All I have to do is heat it up. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. It's all you gotta I do on our D and D days. You goddamn. You goddamn uh, degenerate. Well, today I was actually thinking about starting it early, and then you're like, "Hey, let's do it at 3 I'm like. What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you got your grappling hook. He told you which way uh, the rest of your team went. Um, what do you guys want to do? I guess we're going to go look for two idiots, but is there going to be three any idiots. adventure? Be three idiots. That's right. I keep forgetting uh, one of them's technically not here. Um. Is there going to be an adventure between here and there, or are we going to have to, I like, do something? I can make that a thing. Let's do it! Let's go look Probably for our idiots! Let's go look for the, uh, Hangover, uh, remake. Um, before you leave, the, um, the dwarf says, So did you hear about, uh, Patrice? Patrice? So yeah, that the... that's, that's the woman that just got killed. Poisoned, I heard. Is there something I can roll to put two me. and two together? Yeah, roll insight. Insight is a plus two. I got eleven. Yeah, you don't know. Okay, wait, so what was my li weight limit again? Uh, heavy. So you would only start to get a heavy load. At 77 to 115. Okay, pounds. I'm only at like 62.5 right now. So you're I don't know at, what I'm at. So you're at a medium weight. We'll figure okay. out your weight stuff later. Um, but it's good for you to make sure I know. Um, it's just like I have a huge list also, of Also, did you hear about JoJo? <laughs> Who's JoJo? Oh, I mean, he was one of the ruffians, little hooligans. No one really cared about him. But some guy killed him with a cup. Oh, I see. Threw it that. right at his face. Whoa. I think I've seen the aftermath. Gamma, you did see this. <laughs> you were in the bar there. at that time. <laughs> I was there. Um. Oh, yeah, that, that sucked. I heard that guy was actually a pedophile, though. Was he? Oh, I didn't hear about That's that. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Yeah, I but I hear. Proof. I know he didn't have a. I know he had some friends, and he didn't. Not a whole lot of people like JoJo, but I hear he's gonna have a funeral in a couple days. Yeah, it, I don't know what happened to his friends though. Guys, let's go. Um. Yeah. But Patrice dying, man. Who oh, would yeah. murder her? Can do you have any in details on what happened? All I know is it sounds like she's been poisoned, and he's still just kind of. Can I hammering. roll insight again? Sure, you think harder. <laughs> this will be the last one I give you. Never mind. You think harder, but you're bad at it. You no, one? I think harder, but poo just comes out my ears. Did you roll a one, John? I rolled a two. Oh, okay. But I really do hear that there's an ongoing investigation to see what's going on for her, about her. Hey, do you know who's leading you look... the investigation? Um. Oh, oh yeah, I, definitely. I, That's Hero. I kind of just turn towards him. I don't know anything, but I feel it in my scaliness. <laughs> um. Yeah. I heard she's been questioning. Wait. Are you Keldry Reth? Well, first, I typically don't give out my first name, so I'm not sure he would know that. Sorry, are you Reth? Yes. Why? Oh, oh, hey, you're hey, the you're one the that one. she que that hero questioned. Yeah. She, I, if, I she if she didn't, if she didn't, did. if she didn't get anything out of you, then I don't think you did it either. Some senile old man accused me of some. Heinous oh crime. yes, I know who you're talking about. See, I might yeah, be the I blacksmith, know. but I'm also part of the guard here as well. 
I make the weapons. I fight with the weapons. I may not look like much, <laughs> but I'm a good him. fighter. I just imagined him having arguments with the weapons. Anyways, um... It seems like hey. it's very time-consuming. Oh, hey, they're back. No, we're not back. I'm on my phone, because our internet is not working. What? I suspect our parents didn't pay the bell. That's my guess. Like, oh. it's co our, co our computers are connected to the router, but the router is not connected to the internet for whatever reason. Did you try restarting it and leaving it off? I tried that twice. Call your ISP. Do it right now. Yeah, tweet, uh, tweet it. That yeah, I would more. if I uh, use a number for that. Just look it up on the and internet. And the kind of information. Or, or if it's Time Warner, There's a phone. He can use the internet on his phone. Just tweet to Time Warner. Be like, boy, what are you doing to my internet? Yeah. Well, if they didn't pay the bill, there's not much we can do. As I said, yeah, we like just got a car, so we don't have money. Pay the bill, or if they didn't fucking... Your brother could pay the bill. Your brother's got a fountain of cash. Well, we just bought a car. That's a lot of money. Together? How much did the... Yeah. Oh, someone just followed oh. me. I just followed. Well, I mean... I'll call my following. Oh. I'll call my parents, and I'll see if they didn't pay the bill. And John if they did it, on duty. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah. The hammer is so distracting, fun, but like, why? Cause I <laughs> need a hammer. It's how I get into character. <laughs> um, Listen, I well, don't like being both a guard and a blacksmith seems very time-consuming. One way or the other, this campaign's gonna keep going. So for now, this is what I'm going to do. Um, give me like. I'm going seconds. to stall for 20 minutes talking to the blacksmith. That is Are you going to put happen. pictures in for them? That's what that, but the, but, but, but I'm about to do. There we go. Oh, um, I know exactly what I'm doing for Nate. You can do what you want. That's Please tell me it's a mannequin head. I'm going to do this. That watch horrifies this. Me watch this. You'll like this. You'll like this. Add image. I know it does, John. I know it does. Listen, every I time the camera cut, every time the camera cut, it got closer. I don't care what anybody says. It got closer. It haunt. It's haunted. What are you talking about, John? But like, <laughs> Fred, currently, I have stuff for like literally everything. That's my whole plan. I'm just gonna. Ha I'm gonna prepare shit for any, like anything I have to do. I'm gonna have stuff for it. <laughs> okay. What if you find an old lady on fire who needs to take her medication? Simple. I have a water skin and. Well, I don't know if I'll have medication, but <laughs> I'll figure things out at the time. Actually, I have a potion of healing. <laughs> Fuck you. All right, add this. Okay, oh, and then Fred. I'm just gonna just gonna take this in. I'm just gonna edit the scene. I'm just gonna edit the scene, and then it's gonna be like, <laughs> boom. And then I'm gonna add another one. Add <laughs> image. Excuse okay. me. Okay. That Brass. picture of Matthew as Hitler. <laughs> you can do that if you want. You, I'm not wait, even adding Matthew pictures for Hitler? them. Yeah, there's a picture of Matthew as Hitler. Haven't you seen it? No, but I want to. I used the uh, the blow me picture. <laughs> the blow. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do what you want. I'm I'm just gonna put I'm just putting giant red crosses over them for now. Because they died. That's a that's or uh, as far as we're concerned. They died. Fair, their internet died. <laughs> that moment. Listen, if your internet dies, you're dead. That moment when uh, you weren't expecting this to happen, so you have to come up with some bullshit, and I already <laughs> did. I'm gonna do it with Jonah too, since he was in the same group and he's not here. There we go. Boom. It's a circle with the cross through it, Keyblade. Oh. Well, they might be a little big. Oh. Wow. They're a little big. Just put it like inside the circle. Uh, edit scene. Uh, I want save him. Sure. Then I will fix it. Watch us fix it, and then like they come back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Let Pretty the sure turmoil Fred would begin. Like blow a gasket. <laughs> Some marbles. He just drives over the Nathan All right. and Matt's house just to beat them. Where are you? All right. Did I get? Anyways, 
It's okay. This I have something far more fun in plan now. Uh, oh no! Is it for the three of you. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Yeah. Where did I leave off about that? Um, Patrice. Oh, gee, it killed uh, Reth. Oh uh, yeah, you're the one that they're talking to. Uh. Anyways, they're they're going into some investigations about her, her untimely demise. You know, if you're adventurers, you should help out on it. But that's you just know, me saying. Maybe those guys, those guys are going to be coming back with the iron. We might as well uh, look into it while we wait for them to come back here, because we're really not sure where they went. Well, I mean, it, not exactly sure how we are expected to help. I mean, they're probably being fine. And yeah, my, and honestly, fine. my convoy is probably fine. Mm, with those fools, I, I, I doubt it. Listen, we just found out they stole a child and are taking care of it. I think they'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, again, somehow I don't agree. Listen, they're going to come back here one way or another. And they'll be fine. We've known them long enough. Even though they're really, 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 all right. Well, see you later as you go out the door. Thank you, Blacksmith. <laughs> All right. So you guys <laughs> leave the um. Yeah, you leave from where you are. Don't you know that? You leave the blacksmith. You yeah. want to go talk to Hero. You actually do not know where Hero is at this very moment. I could go back to the uh, guard post area thing and. See if they they saw me earlier talking with her and everything. So, and I've just explained to them I wanted to help in this investigation and I would like to go help her. Wait, who did you say that to? I'm sorry. Well, I was saying that to you, like, or I guess to the party mostly. I mean, that's where we'll go. We'll go talk to the guard post to see if they'll tell us where she is because they kind of know me. They saw me walking and talking with her earlier. Oh, okay. Well, you go to the nearest guard post you see, which would be like. Um, it would, it would, it, you know that the close, the best, like, easiest access guard posts are the ones, um, posted on each exit of the, uh, of Falconhaven. Okay. While wow. you're, while you're going to one of the exits, which one did you want to go to? North, south, east, west? I like north. Alright, well, while you guys go north, um, make perception checks, each of you. By the way, I like how we've struggled to get this Chrono King D and D um session going, and as soon as we're actually getting one going, the two <laughs> idiots conk uh, internet go out. Yeah. I rolled a twenty. Did you say perception? Yeah. I got a twelve. Uh, a 20. twenty-four. Wait, so Keldry, did you get a nat twenty? Yeah, I got a nat twenty. and uh, <laughs> oh, I got the first shot. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, damn it. oh yeah. So Keldry, Miranda, why? Keldry <laughs> and uh, Aki, <laughs> you happen to pass by a flyer on a wooden pole, and the flyer says, "Help, our daughter's missing," and it shows uh, she's a uh, a tiefling named Audrey. Um, uh. The Duke stole a Duke stole her. So I'm gonna think. I'm gonna this is no longer about finding out about missing girl in the missing town. It's about Matthew and Nathan and the baby now, isn't Ocarina, it? Karina, you don't think I do. I'm <sighs> pretty sure. Because you know, and Gamma didn't see it at all, so Um well you well, you're, you're obviously if, if her and I are uh well, yeah, I heard like, you talking. So but. yeah, so obviously it's gonna you're, it's gonna bring your attention to the yeah, poster yeah. saying what, what a child has been about? stolen. Yeah, you just like see them turn to this um, flyer gamma, and now you look at it and you see what it says. <laughs> okay, 
We'll deal with them when they get back. One thing at a time. <laughs> Anyways. I'm going to hit the cavern. Guards dealing with, with anyway. the investigation, you don't think we should search for the child. Or at least the idiots with no. the child. We know where we know they're coming back. We know where they're going. We don't know where they are right now, so they they'll be back. We know that. So we, we know that. That's fair. So you guys I'm just shaking my head. You guys travel north. <laughs> a little bit more through Falconhaven and you come to the one of the guard stations, well guards that are stationed at the north. Fred. What? Did you just drink out of the pitcher of water? Yes, I did. Why? Just use a glass. No. As a matter of fact, because you said that. Why? Ah, who needs a glass mm -hmm. when you have an entire pitcher as your glass? That's like our like water supply, Fred. Go to hell. Painting it. Anyways. <laughs> At least he's not sticking his dick in it. And there's two guards. Friend. There's two guards standing guard at this gate. Um, these ones seem to look a little more strict than the first guards that had let you in from the south. What do you want to do? They have uh, taken hello, no gentlemen. notice to you. Wait, what? I will hail you, and I'll also hail Hydra. Um, so, these two guards, standing at the Damn north, north uh, gate, they <laughs> seem a lot more uptight than the ones from the south. What do you want to say to them? They haven't noticed you. I, I, I approach them not intimidately. I, I, I go, hello, gentlemen. They take a, they look at you, yes. Um, I've been, uh, talking with Hero, and I, uh, was wondering if I could help her with the investigation. Do you know if, uh, you know where she is at the moment? Hero is busy take, uh, busy taking care of our city. That's Fine rather job. vague. Yes, it is They're vague. Oh, no. Is it? possible that you can give us and don't think I don't know accurate. who you are shorty <laughs> I find that offensive <laughs> oh no 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 G gentlemen gentlemen I, I just wish to help her in the investigation and help with your town because your See, town we is here, such a lovely we here think that little short stuff here killed Patrice I mean Based if if the, if what did I say he was last time? Like, a judge or something? I don't even remember his name. I have no idea. If that man, who is a high-ranking official in our city, says you did it, we say you did it, too. And if it were up to well, us, uh, we'd give you the death penalty right now. On baseless accusations? They're I, not baseless if it comes from him. I what thought proof? Hero already talked to you, didn't she? Hero means Hero. nothing to us. If anything, is she, she not the captain of the guard? She's only the captain because of her father. I'm pretty sure she does her job very well, even with that birth. Oh yeah. Uh, title. Oh yeah. Well, how long, how long have you have been in our fair city? Less than a day. Uh, yeah, yeah, and you're telling <laughs> us this many. <laughs> you know, we're gonna probably we should we could we should, should use another we could you. take you to the prison and hold you just because we don't like you. That doesn't seem very fair or efficient in finding the little child. Well, give me one reason why we shouldn't. I know personally, I haven't done anything wrong. Are you willing to bet on that? Yes. So if we were to say search you right now, you'd be fine with it. The only thing I believe I have on me that's a... <laughs> <laughs> Look at my inventory! Yeah! <laughs> okay, let me think. Let me think. 
I look down the list, and I'm like, that's not so bad. That's not. So I get to the bottom. Hey, wait. Do do I notice that uh that, that Gamma is sweating like, a little bit? <laughs> no, making I'm not it make make a wait make a. Well, no, you would be at this point. Make a, uh, yeah. a, 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 <laughs> no, perception? No, yeah. Deception? Make a perception. Okay. I was gonna say insight, but, yeah, make perception. Yeah, I, I, I don't know oh, why it would be right, insight, yeah. but, uh, 16. You have Can, a, uh, you have a rough feeling that yeah. Gamma may not want to be searched right now. Um, All right. do I'm going to, you... uh... Of produce hand? by uh my my ambassador my 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 uh my papers uh naming that I am an ambassador of Neverwinter. They look at your papers. Are you they're... sure it is so wise to simply threaten somebody with baseless accusations? Make a deception check. I can't believe I forgot I had that on me. What do you have, John? I have basalt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, you have like cocaine. Fred. I think it was whatever the uh, the equivalent. You never of cocaine told was. me what it was. You said it was a little bag of white stuff, and the only drug that we've known of is basalt in this universe. It, it would have been like cocaine, but yeah. Fred. All I'm gonna say is, uh, hey, buddy, take a shot. <laughs> I typed oh. out cock for some oh, reason. Oh my <sighs> god, Nancy, why? So, uh, what are we up to now, Miranda? Uh, this would be the fifth. In an hour and twenty minutes. Oh. So that's not too bad. I'm gonna need a chaser on this one. Yeah, okay. I've been taking and shots of this because it's easier. So... With that net 20... <laughs> um... The guards seem... A little... Like, now they seem like... Well, uh... We didn't realize you were an ambassador. I, I guess, I guess an ambassador wouldn't do something so, you know, underhanded and vile to kill an, an innocent woman. Uh, we apologize for uh, our accusations, and uh, sir, looking at you, Gamma, he says we apologize to you too. We, we won't, we won't strip search you. I understand that you have a job to do, but please don't. Do it with such well. It's just well, it's just lately. So much has been happening that uh, around around these parts. Like, have you heard about the the t different towns and just little villages being attacked by goblins? I have not, but we've only been around for like uh, two days. John, the well, village you were in yeah. was literally attacked by goblins. Yeah. You were knocked out. Wait, the one that disappeared and no one's ever heard of. We still ran yes, into but goblins. You still got attacked by the goblins. The they don't know what town it was in. Yeah, I was, but I didn't think like they would care because then they would probably ask us, "Well, well what town name?" Blah blah. Okay, yes, never mind. I've heard of it. Yeah, sorry. We we've been a little more uptight because of it. Um, but the these goblin attacks they've they've been strange. Goblins usually just attack once take everything and leave but now it seems more systematic like they're being like they're organized yeah they seem way more organized than they used to be hmm. i mean that's why we have been stationing guards at each one of our um our gates the only reason why i don't i think we haven't been attacked are these walls you know that you i don't remember if i mentioned it but this wall has like this city has like a wall going all the way around it is, is it like an attack on titan wall oh, uh sort of that. sort of but it's not I mean, that not large big. it's not that large it's only the walls okay. are only about 50 feet tall so uh, i can kind of touch I'm sure the top your of city them. appreciates your service yes um yeah anyways what was it you wanted to know I'm, i apologize if uh, we may know where Hero is, um, Hero is probably, if I had to guess, it's about midday. As he looks at his non-existing watch, why did I even do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this this thing is a new invention. She's, a blacksmith down the road came up with it. She's probably on the wall, somewhere, checking one of the guard towers. Um, as you can see up here, and he points up 
you know, to the tower above him. We, uh, have guards stationed up on top with, uh, large crossbows just to shoot, just to shoot anyone that, you know, goblins. They're strong, well, they're strong crossbows too. They can kill a goblin in one shot. Wait, are they crossbows or ballistas? They're like in between. They're definitely they're not. Like, so, they're definitely not something you could carry. They're kind like of mounted. Those, like, yeah, it's they seem like, like they're mounted on the wall. It's like once you pull back with two arms. Is that what's firing at Nathan and Matthew? Mm, well, well, metagame wise. Hello? Hi. Oh, are you back? Uh, not. In full form, but I have my phone. I have my dice. So, all right. Is Matthew gonna join you? Is Matthew gonna join as well? Matthew is here. He's like in the semi comatose state, but he's here. All right. Well, I kind of <laughs> if 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 you keep wanting to play, that's fine. I did come up with something. If you guys aren't gonna be able to come back, well, it looks like it's gonna be the best. That we can do. So if we can like finish up this section, that'd be fine. Oh, this session's gonna run for a while, dude. Be back real fast. Okay. Yeah, probably the at least. Alcohol is going through me real quickly. If, if you want to just be like uh, a if you can't come back, um, it's fine. I have stuff set in place in case you can't be back. All right. Mm -hmm. I apologize that you can't. That, that at this point. Um, you guys being here probably won't matter at this point. Okay, that's fine. Uh, hopefully you'll be able um, to play next we'll, time. I guess we'll just go then, and if we're... <sighs> our internet gets fixed, we'll let you know, and we'll join back up. Yeah, if you if your internet gets fixed any time tonight, just tell me, because we'll probably be playing still. Mm-hmm. Alright, sounds good. Right. Alright, see ya. Anyways, um... So, what did you want to know about what? What was what we were saying? Um. Well, I was just asking about the things that Matthew and Nathan ran into were the same crossbows on the okay, wall. Yeah. Meta game wise, no. The thing they saw was much bigger. Okay. So, like a Roman ballista versus a siege ballista. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Okay. Like the thing they saw. Would probably shoot like small logs. <laughs> oh, Hanzo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their hitbox will be like that too. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so. May we have access. Oh, what? That? What was that? Uh, I was gonna ask him if we could have access to the wall to go look for. I mean, I mean, if you know Hero, I'm assuming that. Uh, she wouldn't mind. Um, yeah. Uh, here, actually, he actually kind of just points over to beside him. There's a door, and he just says, "Go up there. If you climb up the stairs, you'll be up on top of the wall." Um, you know that the wall is pretty thick, so it's like you can walk around the entire wall. Right. Um, yeah, just go up. Um, if any guard stops you, just tell them that uh, that. George Decay let you in. <laughs> Out of character, George Decay. Look, man. My. Fine. <laughs> no, I'm fine uh, with it. Yeah, I'm no, fine with it. This is, no, this, is, this, is, this is the guard, George <laughs> Decay. Come on. I will simply bow and be on my way and go into the tower. All right. We thank you. So you all go in the tower. Thank you. Appreciation. Um... So you guys, Ocarina, you pass a crossbow that, like, would make your little, your longbow pale in comparison. No. Sad. It's about it's as, like it's about as large as you are. <laughs> really? Me? Yeah. Huh. Um, it would, the, the, the bolts that it shoots are about that thick around. Well, whereas G -G. whereas your arrows are like that thick around, so you know difference. Um, you don't see obviously you don't see uh here up here. You just see some guards who do halt you, but you know, 
you give them George Decay's name, and you're able to make it all the way around until you do finally run into Hero inspecting one of the uh, crossbows. Okay, so we did run. Yeah, you run into Hero. Uh, Hero! Oh. Well, I didn't think to see you so soon, my lovely, <laughs> scaly friend. Mm. She winks at that. <laughs> well, our friends that we went looking for were actually, we don't know where they are, but we know where they will be later. So we figured we'd come help with this investigation we heard of, of a murder, if you would let us. Yes, um, the mayor's daughter? Yeah, she was killed recently. Poisoned. Um, Wraith here was actually in my question Reth. for it. Wraith, sorry. Sorry, Wraith. Wraith here was in my, um, questioning for it, but he doesn't seem to be the culprit. So we're trying to figure out who it is. Um, right now, we do have someone in custody for it. Um, Old Man Jenkins. Old man chicken. Eyewitnesses said that an old woman, it was an old man that uh, poison, put the poison in her cup. They, at least they saw her put, him put something in her cup. So we put him in the in a cell. Right now we're going to question him, but if he doesn't, um, if it doesn't turn out that he has any strong alibi, uh, he's going to be looking at the death penalty. Wait, may, if may people we... said it was an old man, why would you believe it was me? I didn't believe them. My guards do, because they have a certain bias towards... I gotta give the guy a name. Uh, towards... <laughs> uh, we'll go with Lawson. Being, being one of the higher-ups in this city, he... He pays for a lot of my men's uh, salaries, and when he says something, all of them tend to just leap on what he says like it was the word of God. I don't think you I did see. it either. Honestly, old man uh, Jenkins, he he seems like the type that would kill Bar uh, Patrice. Hmm. If I may ask, what evidence other than just the one witness do we have or that you have on him? Well, right now, other than um, you know the witnesses, like I said, um, it turns out that he was in fact at the the uh, was a coffee shop or tea shop that she was tea killed shop. at a tea shop that she was killed at around the exact same time. So things are starting to line up with him. We haven't gotten any strong evidence yet, but if I had to make a bet, it would be him that did it. Hmm. May, uh, may I go speak with him? Love, you can do whatever you want. Hmm. So, I make my way by myself to where, well, wait, they're not, he wouldn't be held on the wall, duh. Um, so where are you holding him so I can head that way? Just in the Probably jail. Probably the prison. Yeah, just in the, oh, just oh, in the, the prison, prison down the uh, <laughs> yeah. the jailhouse down the road. I can you take know, you guys there if you want to come. Old people. I can take the you there if you guys want. Listen, I know you're the killer. I've had <laughs> one or too many. Uh, Gamma yeah. does it. I will try to make it to you. I'm trying to make the full circle around to you. I have to leave so, breadcrumbs out for my character maybe. to follow. Maybe the two cups of coffee with uh, with with whiskey in them was, you know, <laughs> not the best of ideas. No, not before seven shots. How many shots? <laughs> I don't know. Five shots, I think we've had so far. Yeah, five. five. So, are you you guys are going to go to the jailhouse? Uh, yep, I suppose. Yeah, a hero does take you to the jailhouse. Um, when you get there. The jailhouse outside looks beautiful. Most of these buildings seem to be made out of, like, a white marble with blue trim. Ooh, pretty. Um, a lot of inspiration. To give you a good mental idea, a lot of inspiration comes from Ilios, um, the Ilios map in uh, Overwatch. 
of course. Oh, yeah. So, like, if you think about that in your mind, that's kind of the way it looks in color scheme and, and kind of feel. Um, the jailhouse, same color, but this he had, this this building has bars over its all its windows, so there's no going in and out any windows as that you can see. Um, when you walk in, uh, you see a door. It, it's a long, like straight tunnel, like straight hallway. Sorry. Um, the, to a wall at the end and there are four doors two on each side to go through Hero goes past the two doors to your right and left to the next two doors and takes you to the right when you reach, go into the right immediately when you walk in there is like a receptionist desk um, with a hat with a elf, an elven um, female with some beautiful blonde hair um, who asks what you what what hero wants because she's like oh hero hello um what is it that you um want why you're here and sh and hero says that she's going to bring um she wants her to let the guards know to bring old man jenkins to the interrogation room and um you guys immediately leave from there but you do see that there are um another hallway going down that seems to have jail cells um from each side going all the way down, um, and a few guards standing post. Um, when you come out of that door, um, she takes you back down the hallway to a door on the left um, that comes just into a small, kind of dark room, not super dark, you, you don't need dark vision to see, um, but it's dim lit, um, and it's just a table with a chair on one side and a chair on the other side, and she has Gamma here sit on the one side and the guards bring at this point bring in this old um gnome man who uh seems like he's scared to be here um to the other adjacent state and he just sits and, just says, and says to the guards i didn't i didn't do it i swear and they just they just kind of post at the door and then he looks at you gamma and says i swear i, I didn't do it i didn't no, no. i swear now relax. I'm just here to ask some questions. Oh, oh so, okay. okay. I so swear I didn't, I didn't do, it. do it. Just relax. So, now what were you doing there if you didn't do it? I was just getting my, my, my herbal, herbal tea, tea that I always get every single day at that, hey, time. that time. Roll insight? Or... Whatever no. it is to believe him. If you, uh, you can, or, you can roll, I think it's insight. Yeah, you can roll insight. I got an eight. He, he doesn't look like he's lying, but you don't really know. Can you make Yancey control this character? Then I just roll 20s. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. No, I'm good. I don't need any more shots. <laughs> I'm still drinking my fucking alcoholic coffee. <laughs> but I swear I didn't do okay. anything. Now, now. Hmm. Would anybody else know, seen you during the time, or know that you weren't doing it at the time? I don't Putting have the poison. Listen, man, I I don't, I don't have any friends here. I'm I'm, I'm kind of a loner. I just get my tea, I drink it, I leave ho home. I mean, I don't think there's anyone that would say I didn't do it. I don't have any friends. Um, Hero says at this point, we also had found this in his, uh, in his, on his person. And she takes out a little baggie full of white powder. <laughs> we believe that this is the poison he used to kill her. Hmm. We don't know where this is coming from. We believe that there's someone in the city, um giving out this but we do know that this is a very deadly toxin so is this uh, i can't take it out looks mine exactly to, like, like your white powder like okay. in the same exact baggie same exact look and under every way good thing i didn't taste it oh you didn't cut out okay for some reason i'm not bad okay so i turn back to him can you explain why you had this so just some guy gave it to me. I swear. 
I was at the tavern, and there was just some guy. He was shaking back and forth. He, he looked like there was something wrong with him. I was like, I asked him if it was okay, and he, he muttered some things about the end of the world, the end of the world, and then gave me this, 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 this baggie. I looked at, I looked at Hero. Have you, uh, have you tracked down this man or seen any info on this man? We've gotten a lot that of information on this man. Um, People say different things, though. He said they some say he's a tiefling, some say he's human, some say he's a gnome. It seems like whoever this person is, they're very good at not making themselves known. <sighs> this is hard. <laughs> yeah. I, kind of I told wanna... you that this was going to be a much harder campaign than Prince of the Apocalypse. Well, I thought you meant like it was going to be like a fighting or like a big well, boss. You, you that the start of the campaign. I didn't think it's thinking. Be focused on fighting. I didn't think it, thinking it's be more problem focused solving on problem would be solving harder. And covering your tracks, for example. Um, I kind of want to turn my back to uh, Gamma and Caldry and kind of just like whisper secretly, but not like, you know, like really quietly oh! or anything to... Uh, oh, I... Fred, I did have uh, the town written down. It's just on the top of my notes, where I've written all my random notes at the bottom. Ah. Good job. Anyway, go on. Okay, I kind of want to turn to a uh, hero and just kind of, like, discreetly say, do you really, like, you, you, you don't really think this man... Look, dear, the thing about Jenkins here, he's been brought into custody many times for violent altercations with people. He's the kind of man that would kill someone, and he, I know that he had prior um, aggression towards Patrice. We should probably talk to your microphone. I said I see. Sorry. I kind of trailed off a little bit. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. What if I were to tell you that I know of someone who had it out for her? Well, if you have any information, dear, I'd be happy to take it and write it down and make sure we can look into any sort of alcove before we kill this man, because we don't want to just kill someone who is innocent. Yeah. So you I, said I don't. I would really appreciate it, though, if you took my words and took them, uh, took them seriously. It will sound very odd, and we haven't known each other very long. Obviously, you're going to want to believe... A town folks um, opinion over roll persuasion oh dear oh. talking to your mic baby I'm talking to myself persuasion oh damn. 13 I'm sorry dear if it, this man has been violent in the past he could be violent again could I have like Calgary kind of like Whoa. help me out on this you Wait, can, hero, if, if Keldry wants to. I'm basically at this point kind of... Though, if Keldry wants to, he's kind of taking the scapegoat for him. <laughs> well, so like, making him innocent. I'm saying shit. Yeah, Keldry I'm wants to. I'm saying shit. Damn. I had a Wait, plan. Hero, you said... If this man dies in my place, 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, Hero, this you is said a this total... has been violent in the past? I will get with you in a second, John. Listen, yeah, Miranda. Sorry. Keldry is not core. <laughs> Let's just say that. No, I know that, but I was gonna like. I am this out is, for to, like, it on um, man. But, This is like core's evil twin brother. <laughs> but back Miranda, to the... I know that I killed this person. I'm not gonna try and help convince them. Does that, Miranda it, 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 know you like, killed? It this seems person. like this dude. This dude. Everything's Actually, falling in place for it to be this man that murdered her. Aki I, does. I it. Aki does kind of have an ink claim that he did that because he was employed to do that so she kind of knows it i was there she during knows the whole that thing. did it um but gamma you still don't really know you 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 well, got yeah, you got I an idea that. you got an idea <laughs> now but you don't really know anyway to be 100 percent fair though i honestly don't 100 percent know it just it all adds up that anyways way. gamma yeah i'm gonna hero says yes he's been violent with many of the city's um civil uh residents and we've had to take him into custody multiple times at, at this point i feel like i don't know what but to do what didn't, has he ever killed anybody before 
He's gotten close. I mean, I feel like this was too well done for a person's first attempt at murder. Dude, or to, dude, actually pull, to actually do murder. You do, uh, roll persuasion. At the what same time, to be fair, it was my first time at murder, and I did it fairly well, in my opinion. Yeah, you've but you're an Keldry, actual important character. Kel Keldry, you've killed people before. Maybe not, not like, like this. not not like Wait. this, maybe, but you have yeah. taken lives before. Be Persuasion like before this whole campaign, three. you guys have killed people before. Enemies. Fifteen. But, but yeah. Fifteen. Well, yeah, like bandits. So, hero, I'm gonna give you advantage as well. Oh, because she likes me. Yeah. Yeah, because she wants that. Bitch. Yeah, fifteen. Okay, so hero's like, sir, hero says, uh, what was it you said to exactly? I said, you know, if he's been violent in the past but hasn't actually killed anybody before, doesn't this seem a little too neat to have okay. been pulled off? I mean, you have a point. Jenkins is getting old, and I can tell that he doesn't have all his marbles. But he right now is our number one lead. We don't now have anything. No, I fully anything. understand. And what do you mean, neat? It was in the middle of the day, in the same location that he was. Yes, in the middle of the day, it was, you would think. It was a pretty... The way you killed her was pretty neat. <laughs> yes, the way I killed her. But Oh, what was that? Didn't... What was that? Did I hear something? <laughs> no. Yeah, you did didn't. you just yell something? <laughs> but yeah, I know, man, I know. Think about it. <laughs> if the suspect is him, it doesn't seem that neat. Yeah, but he's also old and somewhat senile. And you did it in the middle of the day. You know, where yeah. people are active. In full disguise. So. So. so uh, okay. I'm, how long does this man have until uh, the death penalty? Until uh, you hang him. Or do whatever the death penalty is. Well, normally we give a few days. It'll probably be three days before he's put on the noose and at this point I'm sorry my love but at this point I, no, think, I, I think I think he kind of deserves it either way no, I understand but I mean I'm being I, I'm being very generous seeing as the person he almost killed before was my own sister <laughs> no I understand even if it's past, I want to make sure that we have 100% certainty that it is or is not him. And if I have three days, that's all I need. Well, if you find that he is, in fact, not guilty, we will let him go. But someone is guilty of this, and we need to find out before they escape town. Right now, exactly. I have, right now, I have all the guards not allowing anyone to leave for the next three days. This is good. But, we can... seeing as you guys, I know, are all uh, not guilty of this, obviously, I will make sure that each guard knows that you are allowed to leave and enter the uh, city freely. Reth, that includes you. I, I will give her a gracious bow good at assassinating people. Hey, if I'm gonna kill somebody, I'm gonna cover up my tracks. Just saying. Um, but if you want, we can, uh, we can go look at, we can go by his house, maybe see if there's anything there. We, that's actually the next thing we were going to go do is, um, check his entire home for anything. I'd actually like to go look at the crime scene. Alright, well, I can take you there. Um, she signals to the guards. This whole time, by the way, Jenkins is just kind of muttering how he's not guilty. So that's mm -hmm. kind of just how it's happening. You guys have just kind of been ignoring it a little bit, but it's been happening. She uh, says to the guards, you can take him back to his cell. And it, in, this is when he gets really like, I swear I didn't do it. I swear. Oh, oh. If you um, are innocent, we will find the answer, good sir. Thank you. I'll give you anything you need if you can get me out of this. Please help no me. Need. No, no, I seriously anything you want. If I can I get it for you, I'll give it to you. Of, I want the power of God. I don't think <laughs> I can give you that. <laughs> <laughs> then I will do it for free. 
thank you, thank you, good sirs. Uh, please get me out of this. I, t I don't want to die. If, if, if I can get out of this, I'll, I'll, I'll turn a new leaf. I, I won't, I won't be violent. It's, it's violent anymore. I'll, I'll, I'll go to the, 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 the therapist that I was meant to go to a while ago. <laughs> okay. Um, they I take him out. Yeah, they take him out, and they go back to the other room. Um. <laughs> so, Hero says, uh, so you want to, okay, if, yeah, if we want to go see the kind crime scene, let's, we'll go to the, uh, the tea cafe shop thingy. Thank you. And you guys travel for a little while, does not very long at all, not even a half hour, like ten minutes. You walk down and you, uh, get to the tea shop. Um, she says, here's where we found the dead body. And it's at one of the outside, um, tables. Um, it's not really a crime scene anymore. Uh, like, there's no, like, tape or anything. They're not really keeping this place a, like, um, off-limits area. Because this woman just died here. There wasn't any other thing. Blood or anything. But while you're here, when you look around, you see that there are four tables outside. Two closer to the T-calf, two more away from the T-calf. Um... You can see that the cafe is a kind of small building, not too big, not too large. You walk in, and you can see that there are seven tables just laid out at the front. And in the back is where you order what you want. It has plenty of a, a big old menu behind them. Um, it seems to be written in, like, chalk-like things, because apparently they have that at this time. Um, as you look around, you don't see anything that would really be able to help you convince anyone that this man is, um, innocent. However, I do want you to roll a perception check. Thirteen plus three, so fifteen. Oh, Keldry. I forgot to mention this. Yes. Old Man Jenkins looks ridiculously similar to how you did in your disguise. Perfect. Ah! Anyways, Gamma, what did you roll? Fifteen! Okay, you do see that one of the uh, bar baristas, b b bar whatever... Baristas. Baristas, yeah. She, uh... She doesn't seem like she's really paying attention. When people are ordering tea and she seems like she's off in uh, some other place, like she just can't get something out of her mind. I walk over to her... or No, she's probably helping customers right now. Uh, um... You can stay Oh, wait, I, I... I got... I could, but I got a hero here or I'm part of the search, so I can kind of, like, use power to drag her away for a moment. You could. Yeah. You want to drag her I away? I walk up. Yeah, I, well, not physically, though, because I feel <laughs> like if I said yes, that's exactly what you were going to do. Drag her. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of there. I walk up to her and ask, I'm here with the search party about the recent murder. Can I have you step aside for a moment? Oh, what? A search party? Uh, oh, um, I knew, uh, I knew this would happen. Okay, yeah, uh, I'll come. And you pull her aside. What do you want to say? So, do you remember seeing anybody off-putting or odd-looking the day of the murder? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, so I was, I, I did see something. I was giving people their the coffee from the orders I wasn't on duty taking orders and I gave old man Jenkins his um green tea he always gets a green tea every day mm -hmm. and it was the strangest thing he walked out and then I turn around to, to and I was turning around to you know mix make a new cup and within the time, the, the like, the less than a minute, 
that I did this, I turned around and I saw him outside again. He seemed slightly paler than usual, but I saw him put some substance into um, Miss Patrice's cup, and when she got back up and drank it, she died. I see. It's so strange, though, because I could have swore. I can't say for certain, but I could have swore I could also see old man Jenkins turn the corner. I'm like going to often. roll for insight if I believe it. Alright. If, if it does seem with Six plus two. Eight! All my insight rolls keep coming up as eight! Well, Except for the know. one! It was just, the one that was a 20, John! It was a that was because I was going against you! I don't know. Yeah, all right. It was just, it was strange. I saw him go out the front door, turn the corner, and when I turned when I turned around, came back in like 20 seconds, and I saw him poison Patrice. Was there anybody else outside that you know of that also saw him walking away? Well, I mean... Th there was, there was, there was Kyrus and Harmony... The, Where are they? Oh, they're they're um, they they're a couple. They just had a child recently, Audrey. Um, it's all full circle. <laughs> yeah, they. It was weird. They apparently they were able to. They were so happy about finding a babysitter. They came for the date here. Um, I don't want to do they this. Were, they I were, don't want. They were just outside in the other table. I don't know what if they saw anything, but. That's all I know. I don't want to deal with real John. John does not want to deal with this because it's going to be like, okay, I talk to them and they're going to be like, well, we will think about it. But can you look for our child? It's going to be uh. <laughs> trying to keep. I'm trying to be the good player. I'm trying to keep everything on the straight and narrow. And now my you know making what it, it hard. Now you know what it feels like to be core. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's like True. This Things lessen. It's just like <laughs> not to mess with core. <laughs> this campaign was actually just made to make John realize how terrible he is as a character for Omega. So, uh, but yeah, I okay. saw Kyrus and Harmony. They um, they were here for a date and then they left. I don't know if they saw anything. Well, if is there anything else that you can remember? No, that's it. That's all okay. I know. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Here, if you uh, could, if you could give this to Old Man Jenkins, I, I, I don't know. I, some part of me thinks he didn't do it, but here, and she gives you a uh, green tea, kind of in wrapped up in a way where it will, the warmth will stay inside it for a little while. I'll try to get it to him as soon as I can. Okay. Thank you, and then I guess we head out. Now, do... Hero is still with us, right? Yes, Hero has been with you this entire time. Now, I, I go to Hero. Do you know who Harmony and Papyrus... Papyrus? Or what was it? Uh, it's Harmony and Kyrus. Kyrus. Do you know where they live? I'd like to go talk to them. Oh, yes, the uh, young couple who just had a child. Um, They are... At an area I said in a previous episode that I will not contradict and say that it's over there and your characters will understand exactly what he oh! was by that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that place over yonder. Okay. You know what else? Not taking note. <laughs> he didn't take notes either. <laughs> exactly. I've been taking a lot of notes. I just kind of <laughs> forgot to write that kind of crap down. If you forgot one note out of all the other notes you wrote, now we make fun of you. <laughs> Uh, I gotta write down okay. this note. Okay, okay. Uh, is that to smite John later? No. <laughs> okay, so you come to a beautiful blow, um, white and blue marble house. Um, what are you, gonna, you just gonna knock on the door? Knock on the door. Uh. Nickety knock. Uh... Absolutely no answer. 
I knock again, but this time I kind of yell, Hello? Anybody home? Again, no answer. Uh... <sighs> okay. Hero at this point Hero at this point says, Well, the only thing I can think of less to do, unless you can think of something new, is uh, go check old man Jenkins' home. Yeah. The question is the door unlocked. No, we're not going to just walk in. I don't know if we should just lock. I mean, we could, but I need I I don't I'd have to have a good reason to. I'd have to have some sort of tangible reason to walk into these people's home without being invited. I mean, are they we'll throw a in or and or say... How did you know about that? Black a poster on, a, on the uh on the Oh room. yeah, that too. I mean, I don't know if it was them, but they're the only tiefling family in this city. Well, so. it did say Aub Aub Audrey or Aubrey, one of the two. Audrey? On, oh. Yeah, on the sign. And the uh, barista had mentioned that their child Audrey had gone missing. Well, I guess so. you're right. <laughs> we can I go mean, check. I, I, we if could, I don't. So I feel like it would be a good idea to check if they're all right. Tell you what. I want to check if they're all right, too, but my hands are tied being as a captain and all. But, I'm I, if I were to say, look over that way, and you were to go <laughs> in there, I wouldn't say anything. Hmm. I'm pretty oh, stealthy. Oh, he seems Hero. Hero, what's that over there? As she's looking away, I'm going to stride into the door. Yeah, the, door's un the door is unlocked. Okay, but I I'm just imagine him striding and not opening the door. Just, <laughs> just striding <laughs> right to the door. Just bam! Wow. You yeah, didn't so... say open, you said stride into the door. <laughs> so yeah, you walk into this house, and the first thing you see when you walk in is just a small kind of foyer area. It's not very big. It's only about 10 feet by mm -hmm. 20 at the very mm -hmm. most. Um, but one way you can see a small staircase going into another room that you can plainly see to be the living space. Um, Is there, like, any noises in the house? No, no noises. Silent. And in front of you, you can see a, a, a large table. Not insanely large, but, you know, a good-sized dinner table uh, in a rectangular shape, long going this way. So you guys are, like, at this end seeing that end. There's a door, double, a set of double doors at the end of that room and another one door on the side and <clears throat> when you walk in and kind of look around you can see a small staircase going up to what looks like the kitchen area of this house I'm simply going to call out hello are Aubrey's parents home no answer hello are you mm -hmm. the they one could be out I'm searching for their daughter for this is very true yeah I have an odd feeling you know Calling out their kid's name and them not come running. I, I'm going to Good search. Time, no. You said there was an upstairs. Oh uh, yeah, there's like well, there's like okay. So in the foyer area, there were stairs going up to a living space you could see. In the kitchen, there were stairs going up and or you can the stairs going little stairs going up to the kitchen. These are only like three steps, so they're like just kind of. I'm gonna head up into the living area. When you head into the living area, you can immediately see a long staircase going up. Um. In the living area itself is a fireplace with a stack of wood, um, but it's there's three logs on the bottom, two on above those, and it looks like they were like spent to be put into a triangle, but the most top log is gone. Hmm. Um, you can also see from this living space that it connects into the kitchen. I'll go upstairs before I go to the kitchen. All right. Well, I want to follow behind. Okay, so Gamma, you're falling. Aki, what are you doing? I'm kind of standing at the entrance. Say that into your mic. <coughs> I'm saying that into my mic. I said I'm basically just going to be standing kind of like in the foyer and just kind of listening and looking and just kind of like taking in kills. I can. All right. Well, in there... The, uh, you, you do see that there's a closet to the side of you. That's the one thing you see. Other than, you know, seeing Gamma and Re uh, Keldry go into the living space and out of your vision. Do you want to 
do anything or just wait? I mean, I guess I'd like open it. There. <sighs> you curious. Really, I get close to that mic, baby. Don't understand. I don't so know. Fair, you have a high sensitivity, so it's like when you start. Yeah, I kind of have to whenever talking. Fred yells, and he oh, yells yeah, a no, lot no, when no, he. No. But the thing is, is when you start talking quieter, which you, you do often tend to trail off. Yeah, I'm a quiet talker. That's a bad thing, but it just it happens. <laughs> I, I do the same thing sometimes, but luckily I do push to talk, so mine's always open when I'm talking. Um, but when you, when you you tend to trail off sometimes, when you trail off with a high sensitivity, it, it gotcha. doesn't pick up when you start to trail off. Gotcha. Okay. So, make a Arcana check. That's just worrisome. Five? Uh, you notice nothing. You just see a bunch of coats and cloaks. Just things that they would wear in the colder weather. Keldrian Gamma. Yes. yes. You walk up the stairs. When you get to the top of the stairs, you see a small hallway. Um, in this hallway, there's a door to the end, the very end. There's also two doors on each side. And like, as you go like about 15 feet in to the hallway, there'd be a door on each side. And there's one door only five feet in, just like right there, um, going to the right. Hmm. Do I hear anything coming from the other side of the doors or do I see any like make a perception check dirt or anything make, around make a perception check uh, where's my dice roller it's right here. maybe I turned it off just wait I got a bookmark luckily perception 10 it'll be right back. you hear nothing mm. and you see nothing all right I, I'm going to uh, open the door at the very end of the hall. All right. You open the door at the very end of the hall, and when you peer inside, it seems to be a bedroom. In this bedroom, I don't see anything one, inside. In this bedroom is one large bed, um, a few cab, a few like um, dressers, just one on each, one on one wall, one on the other wall, a like chest at the very, um, just in front of you, like right next to the bed against the wall at the very end and a closet to the right I'll examine the closet uh, when you open the closet all you see are some clothes nothing special okay. just normal clothes I'll leave the room then all right um gamma what are you doing uh, um Kel's you went just, at the, just... went into the room at the very end right, I don't know, I didn't really want to, like, if I found out they're not here, I really didn't want to do all that much. Right. He said he went to the room on the end? Yes. What other rooms were there? There was... There were 15 feet into the hallway, there were a room on the right and the left, and only 5 feet into the hallway... There's a room on the one room on the right. So it's basically room on the right, and then down the hall, two rooms on the left, and one at the very end. I'm going to go into the one that's on the right that's only five feet ahead. You open it up to see what looks like an area to bathe yourself. You know, a bathroom. Relieve yourself. Yes, it looks like a bathroom. <laughs> relieve um, myself. There, there's a medicine cabinet there. Sink. You, do you want to do anything in here? I, I guess I'll roll investigation. Okay. Now, this when you roll investigation, that means you're going to just, like, look at everything, trying to open up stuff, maybe? Okay. Yeah, I'm just kind of generalizing right now. Roll investigation. That's a fan. It's a one! Well, as you, bathrooms are kind of weird, honestly. Um, <laughs> as you're investigating, you you're looking at the toilet. You're looking for a secret button or something, you know. You don't yeah, know. Like, you've been in, you've been in dun you've been in a dungeon before. You know that there could be secret doors. Um, 
turns out when you kind of lifted the, uh, the, the, the toilet, the seat, and put your hand down to find a button, you felt something that should have been flushed, <laughs> but wasn't. Why? <laughs> Why? I run to the, the sink and immediately begin washing my hands. Okay, roll perception. I, know, uh, uh, <laughs> I got a 16 plus perception. Three. So, nine, no, no, two. So in, 18. Your, in your haste, when you moved over to the uh, sink, you your you're like snout hit the medicine cabinet, which, first off, kind of hurt. But the cabinet opened up, and inside you saw a pink vial labeled health potion. Poo hands and health potions. Good time. Oh, wait, a normal health potion or? It looks to be a normal health potion from all you can tell. What's that give me? Like if I, what's the rolls for it? I believe it's 2d4 plus 4, but I'd have to check. Got I, it. I can check. I'll, I'll just. Want. I'll check real quick. It's, it's better for me to check than tell you something wrong. And you wouldn't want me to give you make it too strong, right? You wouldn't want me to make it better than what it is. God, God no! You know what? This health potion. Let me let me just help you, Fred. It just gives me one health. It gives point you back. minus ten HP. That's that's what it does. Because <laughs> because if you're dead, you can't die. That's basically. <laughs> well. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, two D four plus two. Plus two. Okay. I have a headache. Oh, this is great. I've laughed so hard today. Alright. Aki, are you still just sitting in the foyer? I think at this point I'll start to kind of wander. I probably would want to try to find a picture, a portrait of that, that of the... Oh, okay. Well, when you walk into the dining room, you do see a portrait. Like, you, you walk in and to the left on the wall is a very large portrait of two tiefling um, adults, one male, one female, holding a tiefling child. How are they dressed? Can you talk into your microphone closer? How are they dr dressed? Still gets got uh, cut off. That's weird. Like she was still loud. Just put it to your mouth. Just do it. Do it. Put it inside. Your yeah, talk mouth. like that. When you quick. talk, just go into it. That's all. You do. <laughs> do that for me, babe. Just talk into it. Yeah, but you gotta understand too. I can't be too louder in my mic. Well, that I'm was fine. for you to be too loud. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but how are they dressed? They seem to be dressed in a middle class way. They do not seem poor at all, and they do not seem like they are um super rich. They seem like they are just living the middle life frame life. The middle class life. Uh, make a perception check. Seventeen. All right. You see, on the wall, the way the dust forms, it looks like that this portrait has been like slid back and forth recently. How big is it? It's about 10 feet long by 5 feet high. So it's a pretty big portrait. Does it look like it'd be really heavy? No. I kind of want to, I want to pick it up then. See, there's something behind it on the wall. Alright, so you take off the portrait, and behind it, you see what looks to be a safe. Huh. Hmm. Make another perception check for me. Teen. Well, first off, you see that the safe is cracked, so it's been open. Oh, it's been open. Yeah. Like, is it open? Like, like I could just open it? Yeah, you could just, like, it seems to be cracked open, so you could just, like, kind of move it open. Um, do you want to do that? Yeah, I want to peek inside. So when you open it, um... I kind of feel the, like we're looting the, the torn, these people's The house. torn bits of an envelope fall out. 
and you just kind of have like half an envelope in your hand and it seems like somebody took this envelope, tore it open and took whatever was in it. Interesting. Uh, inside though, this this is this is the part that this is where the perception came in. What was you what did you roll? Just the last one, yeah. the last roll, 19. Oh, okay. You find this very odd because there are a stack of nine gold bars still just left in there. Huh. Don't. Wait. It's, it's not yours. Don't do it. <laughs> Keldry, are you back? Yeah. Okay. So, you saw this, left this bedroom. Gamma went into the a bathroom. Um, mm-hmm. you, there, there are the two doors from where you are there are the two doors to the left and right of you and then the one that would have been at the other end of the hall where the stairs mm-hmm. are that he went through um, which was a bedroom so there are also two closed doors the right. in the right you find what looks to be a study with a desk um, on that desk is a letter I shall examine it Examinate it. So when you <laughs> examinate the fuck out of that letter. I am Yonsi, the examinator. <laughs> so when you examine this letter, make examinate. a make a what checks are there to make? Uh, intelligence, wisdom. I, I, I assume it would probably be like an intelligent or uh, investigate, which is intelligence. Yeah, make it a, just kind of an investigation check for me. Okay. Yeah, whooping plus one. I rolled a natural 20. Oh, wait, no. No, it's a 19 plus one, which gets me 20. Thank oh. God I don't have to take another shot. <laughs> Jesus. It just it popped up 20, and I was like, fuck. So, what you find in your investigation. I will tell you after I go pee. So this um letter basically seems to be a thank you letter, uh um thanking um Kyrus, you assume, because it's directed to a male, um for keeping cert a certain secret document safe. I'm but the letter does in. the letter does not um disclose what it is. The baby's not really theirs. <laughs> does it have any sign of who it's from? No. The um basically the way the writ- letter is written, it seems that whoever was this letter was for knows who it came from, but the letter does not actually say. Hmm. All right. I am going to take out a piece of parchment from my pack and I'm going to copy the letter with the exact handwriting because charlatan, I can do said, said things Okay. with my false identity skills. Uh, that way I can uh, identify this handwriting in the future if I have to. Okay. All right. I'm going to uh, set everything back how I found it and leave the room. All right. There's one more room up in the uh, saw hallway. Just waiting. Just waiting. God. Also, um, while you were reading that, you heard in, like, the other room. Oh, oh it's I so just, gross. I need to wash it off. I'll ignore that. <laughs> yes, please ignore that. Just ignore it. One copied letter. I'm just going to put that in my pack. So I remember about it. Also going to put that in my note. So I remember about it. Yeah, like some people. Alrighty. I leave the room. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Omega, or Gamma, leaves the other room he was in at the same time. Um, he seems kind of disgusted. Um, oh, Omega, uh, Gamma, you took the health potion, right? Yeah. Okay. He takes it, okay. Uh, he seems kind of disgusted. His hand seems a bit damp. And there's one room that you guys did not go into. Let's go check this room out. Kitchen, right? Well, no, there's one room upstairs that we haven't checked out yet. So, you open up the room, and you see that it looks like a young 
baby's room with a crib um, and everything else you think a child, a little baby would have in their room. Um, though, at further examination, you see that inside the crib, when the, a, the blanket had been pulled off this very um, crude carving of a child made from a log. I can't tell if they've gone crazy and are trying to replace their child with a log. <laughs> <laughs> but this is definitely not normal. No. It doesn't seem like normal behavior. Also, uh, I know the father's name is Kyrus. What is the mother's name again? Harmony. Okay, I was just putting it in my mouth. So yeah, that's what you find in that. You don't see anything else of value unless you like child's toys. Um, but you do see that... <laughs> yeah, Gamma? <laughs> Never mind! Also, I would just like to point out that uh, I'm the bad guy here, and Gamma is supposed to be the quote-unquote good guy, and he's the one that stole the healing potion. Mm. Listen, someone forgot to flush. <laughs> At least they could have done. Yes, after you invaded their home, you know that was their. You fault. opened the door. You walked and in. You you're followed the one who's me in, in, sir. Tell Drew, this yes. is a weird time for you to have a conscience. Huh, hey. It's almost like but you're yeah, trying you. to cover up something. Mm, trying to pass the buck. Mm. I am just saying. Well, actually, I don't know that he took the health potion. So, I mean, that's all out of character. Yeah, blow me. So. <laughs> That's Ocarina. You found this empty uh, half of an envelope. You see that wh whatever uh, took this was in a hurry and didn't want to deal with the seal. As well as they were in such a hurry, they didn't even take the gold out. Maybe you could you could assume that maybe it was uh, Kyrus or Harmony. Maybe it wasn't. It seems like it was one of them that wouldn't have been torn, though. I think at this point, I mean, I didn't really go that far into the house, did I? No, you only went from, you only basically went from the foyer to the dining room. Yeah, I think at this point I'm going to kind of step outside to Hero and be like, like, you know, walk out and just be like, Hey, I think someone may have been here before. Why would you say that? Well, I mean, the, it, there's a letter, or at least it seems to be, the safe... Okay, there's this painting, and there's a safe behind it. The safe was open when I walked in. And inside, the money's still there, but there is a torn envelope, and it seems ripped open in a hurry. Well, let me see. Do you have the envelope? Well, I left it where I put it. I didn't want to really contaminate evidence. Well, I mean, if there was someone in this house... Well, that gives me that gives me reason to come in now, doesn't it? Yeah. Plus, I mean, I, I look shady. You know, I, I I got a weapon. You could have just said you followed me in. Smart girl. <laughs> um, she follows you in, and uh, you take her right where you found the thing. Yeah. I get right to it. And she okay, so she looks at it and says, "Yes, this does seem very strange. Just this plain white." envelope you found? Mm-hmm. Nothing inside it. No, it doesn't seem to be. It's just empty and was left there. I mean, I don't think Kairos or Harmony would have done this. And whoever, they, whoever did this really wanted whatever was inside this envelope. I haven't um, seen the other two yet. They went upstairs to see if anyone was home. Alright, well... Want. Let's go find them. Uh, we can go through the kitchen. Yes, yeah, certainly. As you go through the kitchen area, you see that the kitchen and the uh, living space are both connected. And um, the kitchen just seems like your normal kitchen. It has a uh, few pantries. Um, it has a, a little fireplace to cook on, to. Mm -hmm. um, it's a pretty nice, cozy place, though. Clean. Definitely clean. Everything in this house has been very clean. Um... And as you go up, or about to go up the stairs, 
you see that Gamma and Caldry are coming down the stairs. Huh, how convenient. Did you guys find anything up there? Uh, Gamma just shakes his head no. <laughs> well, that was the bat me thinking about the bathroom. We found the, a log with the carving of a baby in the cradle. Like, a log that's carved to look like a baby? I thought that's what... Did Yeah, did Kel, did, did Kairos and Harmony do this to replace their child? I feel like we should go look at it, just to be safe. Alright. Seems a little odd if parents did this. Well, Back up he, the stairs we go! Well, and here goes up to look at it, and she says, Well, this is very crude. Any any parents who'd want to make a carving of the child would have definitely done a better job than this. This was done in a hurry. I just realized where this thing fucking came from. <laughs> I legitimately... Just yeah! Damn it, Nathan. It looks as if, like, yeah, a you're... really, really humanly human might have made this. <laughs> it, it's <laughs> also the letter from earlier. It was thanking Kairos for what? Uh, Again? for keeping, um, some, uh, some document secret and safe. Alright, well, I'll, leave, I'll keep that to myself for now. Other than, um, I'm actually, can I roll, like, I can't remember what to roll, like, to try to put two and two together that this is not the parents who made this doll, but I think I know who. You can make an well, insight check. You know check. your companions were traveling with a baby. You can make an yep. insight check. I got a 13, 2, 15. God damn it, why are all my insights 15 now? <laughs> I yeah. found 8 to 15. Yeah. I mean, in your core, you have a, like, small. Like, you have a. Like, you think maybe. You know why this is here and what happened, but you're definitely not sure of it. Fred, I have a question. Can I make an insight check? Sure. Alright. Well, for what? Well, Fred, guess what? If you say I'm taking a shot, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> you're taking a shot, buddy! What was the insight check even for? Basically the same thing, because technically I didn't know. Okay, well, through your, uh, through your adventuring time, you've seen uh, Gerald carve a lot of things. This looks <laughs> just like uh, Gerald's carvings. Alright, well, uh, I hate myself. And, um, <laughs> I wish Keldry got hang, hung. Whatever. Bottoms up, bottoms up. A Keldry's red solo take cup. Quite a few shots. All of a sudden. I really overfilled this one. Ugh. So. Yeah, you, Keldry, know for exact certainty that no one else could have carved this child, the effigy thingy, other than Gerald. But Gerald, not a lizard. <laughs> well, again, I'm going to stay silent to this as um, letting Hero know that our adventuring companions stole a goddamn baby. <laughs> Probably not the best thing. Wait, they're gonna say yeah. she's gonna. You're gonna say that to her that she they did that. No, I, I'm okay. saying this out of character. Okay. I, I'm going to stay silent that Gerald Monalizer stole the baby. Okay. I'm not going to say that to a Hero because that's probably a bad idea. Letting our her know that our adventuring companion stole a baby. Yeah, probably not a good idea. <laughs> oh God, I cannot. I off off game for a second. I cannot believe I had so much planned for today. And instead of doing anything I planned, <laughs> we're making an investigation about a murder and child snatchers. Don't you just love us, Fred? You know, I do. I like I do like being on like the edge of my chair and like you know, making things up. <laughs> so uh you know that. Um I will simply say I don't think it was the parents that made this. Hero Hero agrees. Hero actually does agree on this. She doesn't think that they would have made it either. They, she's very concerned as to why it's there, though. She doesn't really... I think, idiot, uh, like, whoever stole the baby 
was thinking they'd be clever enough to leave this here and it would work as a substitute. But that's just a hunch. You know, that's, you know, that's really good. I know there's a reason why I want that hot, dirty... We'll talk yeah. about it later. <laughs> if you were a woman, Fred, I'd be okay no. with this form of roleplay. I think the most important thing right now is finding the parents. Uh, yeah, is I don't... neighbors that might have seen where they went? Uh, the hero turns to you and says, uh, to Aki, um... Yeah, to all of you, but also, t but like, closer to you, yeah, we must find them because if they were having also some sort of secret document, that envelope might have held it. Mm-hmm. You said you found this in their safe? Yeah. Yeah, that's... It kind of uh, just was just how'd there. You in, how'd you get into their safe? Because it was already broken. It, it's okay, Gamma. It was already open. I didn't open it. <laughs> oh, okay, then. This guy, though. Jeez. Such a goody douche. <laughs> uh, hero, amazing. what are you right now? Lawful neutral? Or not hero, uh, for Gamma. You're, you're lawful neutral right now? Yeah. I'm chaotic neutral. I would like you to transform into neutral, a butterfly. neutral good. <laughs> butterfly, oh my god. Neutral okay. good. Okay. And Keldry? <laughs> If you weren't chaotic yeah. neutral, I'd put you into an evil, but it's way harder for to get into evil. But the thing is, is like, nothing I'm doing is super evil. No, not You're yet. You're about to have a man killed for your murder! It's not yet. Hey, but the thing is, that's not necessarily evil. That could that's still be- That's literally just watching out for my own neck. That could still be chaotic It's more neutral. chaotic. It's that's... more chaotic, because it's- I'm not having him killed just because I want him killed. I'm only letting him die because it's like- if he doesn't die, I'm gonna die. Okay, so you guys are gonna but go... But if you didn't kill the person to begin with, no one would yeah, be dead. there's a lot of money, and I like money. <laughs> so you guys want to search... <laughs> that makes it okay. You guys want to search for the, uh... Yeah. Alright. Well, you you know that Felgenhaven's kind of large, and even though you're fortunate enough to run into each other, that you might not be able to find them so easily. You can make... You can make survival checks if you guys want to try to Aren't find them. Aren't they the only teaching couple in the city? Yes, but it's still well, a large city. Well, I, ass I assume that asking around would probably be pretty uh, pretty easy. Yeah, if you want to try Given it. that they're the only... Okay, so what? Survival? Yeah. <laughs> Four? Mm. <laughs> Does anyone else want to make a survival check? I, I, I like how make I a made, survival uh, check. I like Here how we go! Like 19s like the entire time. Survival check, four. Survival check, five. It was a three, but I get a plus five, so... So eight is our highest. Oh, man. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, you guys search for, like, two hours. And now it's not quite dark, but it's, like, four or five, and it's starting to get dim. Can I do one last survival check to see if maybe after two hours of searching something came to me? No, that was your first survival check. You might have you'd have to do like another like two That's hours. That's what I'm saying. I got a 16! But what I, was, what I was gonna say yeah. plus two, 18. is Hero says well we're not, they seem to not be around. Um, maybe we could, they we went could back always, home? We could always go meet my men over at Mr. Uh, uh, old Man Jenkins house to see what yeah. we could find there. Maybe that to seems incriminate to be, that I criminal. I, I suppose that would be a good idea. I guess that's the last place we can look until we can find these people. Yes. Okay. So. I'm gonna wait for Omega to... I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Well, he's gonna miss this. So. <laughs> hero... Well, I kind of have to pee. Fine, go pee. I'll wait. Yay! I can't blame them. I've had to pee a fair bit. Okay. So, I got my food. I'm starting I started the recording again. So, you guys are headed off to Jenkins. A hero actually takes you out of the city. Towards the west. When wait, he doesn't live in the city? No. Apparently oh. not. Only after a mile do you come to
to what looks to be a farmhouse. There's no farm around it, but the only way to describe this house is it's very farm-like. It's white, but unlike like the w beautiful white buildings in Falconhaven, this building is made of wood and seems to be kind of run down. She proceeds to go to knock to uh, crack open the door with you. As soon as you enter the door, which is like inside a small porch-like area, you see one long hallway. At the end, it you see a sink, so you assume it it's a kitchen. But that's at the end of the hallway. Before you hit the end, five feet to your right looks to be a little like study area. Very run down though. Not like the beautiful study in um, Kairos and Harmony's house. This one just seems to be strewn about with papers and all other kinds of just writings and books. On the right? Did I say that was on the left? Okay. No, you said it was on the right. I did? Okay, well, fine, that's on the right. Then on the left is a, uh, closed door. You go up another five feet and you'll see a, another door to your right and another tiny, small, like, alcove area to the left where just a bunch of dirty clothes lie. Mm. What do you want to do? I want to look at the study area. Alright, so you want to investigate in there? Investigation! Why? Why do you hate me, little dice? What did you roll? I got a, I got a six plus... Oh, like it matters. Two, so I got an eight. I'm going to go back to the other dice I was using. Yeah, after a while <laughs> of searching, you don't see anything special. What about the rest of you? Um, I guess I would investigate, like, the kid. Okay, so Did you say there. there's a bunch of papers strewn around? Yeah, the study area where Gamma is. Yeah. Wait, is he investigating the papers right now? Yeah. So far, Gamma Already! I rolled this dice right. twice and got two I, 19s. I, I will, uh... I will, uh... Investigate the papers with him. Okay. You wanna, yeah, I'll have you roll investigation to them. Uh, okay, that's just a flat 20. 15. So, as you're looking through the papers, you find what looks to be a diary. I found a diary? Or Gamma found a diary? You no, did. you found a diary. Gamma okay. fucked up. <laughs> uh, what does it say? I would like to read it. Well, there's a lot of uh, uh, passages in here from different days. Which one do you want to look at? Uh, I'd like to look at the more recent ones. The most recent one says it seems to be a sort of poem slash love letter. It says, you have stolen my heart. All I want to do is make you happy. All I want to do is support you. All I want to do is comb your hair in the day and at night. All I want to do is hold you through it. I love you. Patrice. Hmm. You have to share this with us. All right. What about the previous entries? The last couple ones. The last couple ones. I met the, the last one before that. I met a crazy guy at the tavern. It was a weird halfling who gave me this little bag of powder. Not sure what it is yet. Should probably give it to the guards and see what they say. Okay. Can I roll perception if he doesn't share? Sure. But that's Are only you if he share? doesn't share. Right. Keldry, what are you doing with this book? Just wait. Alright. I'm gonna go up to Hero. Okay. Okay, I'm going to um, show her the last page in the book, the one about him loving the trees. Uh huh. And say, 
Obviously, Jenkins was very infatuated with Patrice. Could it be that she rejected him and as a response, he may have murdered her? No! No! Hero says to that, that's a good point. That actually would make a lot of sense. Uh, Gamma, Gamma, make a perception check. Against my deception? Sure. Sweet. I got a 15. Uh, I got a 14 plus... I know I get 7. What's 14 plus 7? Yeah, Gamma, you don't... You don't, hear, you don't hear it. Oh! <laughs> well, he just... Wait, wait, he doesn't... Why wouldn't he hear it? It's not like I'm trying to... But he just, like... He, he doesn't... Uh, he doesn't... Um... He doesn't, like, register it, I guess. Okay. But Hero says, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Really? This could probably be enough to kill him. <laughs> Aki. Mm hmm You're in the kitchen. Yeah. So, the minute you went into the kitchen, you saw to the right that... There's another room. Looks to be some sort of dining room. But this room is also just littered with books and papers. Stacked on the tables, on the chairs, on the desks, on just everything in the, the dining room. It seems <laughs> like he doesn't use it to eat. If anything, it looks like he uses the little table in the kitchen to eat. Um, <sighs> okay, I'm back. Oh, I don't... Ah, you're actively now trying to get this man killed! I'm not doing no, 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 I'm actively trying to cover my tracks. Get it right. No! 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 Hey, if I make her think it was him, that means less suspicion on me. Ah! You know I'm right. No! You know I'm right. No! No! You're actively trying to kill this man to no, cover up I your tracks. No, I am actively trying to keep suspicion off of myself. No! You're putting it on yes. him... So it isn't on you. Yes, I exactly. I'm putting then it you're on trying him, to kill so him. I am not suspected. You could literally go put it on Nathan's character. But they don't know who that is. They stole he a has fucking no baby. Relation. They stole a fucking There's baby. No, yeah, but they don't know that. Mm. Also, no. Also, Gamma, you have no idea. Yeah, I know. I don't have any idea. This is why I'm <laughs> crawling up the wall. So, I have a headache! Ocarina, in the kitchen, it mm -hmm. just seems to be a normal kitchen, even though it's a little bit dirty, dirty dishes everywhere. He doesn't seem to take a lot of care of himself. Um, you do see that in the living space that's easily seen from where you are, there's a door onto the wall on the like south side of the house, and another room that connects to the limit to the dining room you don't know where that goes though you can't see can i make out like any what like what the papers may be researching or like depicting like, uh make like a, a general investigation theme. roll i'm not a 14. okay so i'm going through these papers only a few of them seem to be actually written by him. A lot of them are just flyers and different kind of newspapers from different points in time of the, t the, ho the town. Some of them are like old before your time old. Apparently he, he just hoards these. For my time? Yeah. Oh wait, how old are you? 200. Okay. When you were <laughs> A lot of these would have been like from the time that you were a young girl. Okay, I was about to say, I'm like, whoa. Huh, oh, so he's young and really now. invested then, I guess, into this town. He's just a hoarder, it seems. Yeah, but, I mean, weird. Looking through these papers, do I see, like, any, like, information that may spark my interest and make me think about the town we were previously at that's 
not there anymore. Make another investigation check. Eight. <laughs> nope. I'm clueless. Alright, um, I guess I'll move on. Living area. Well, you don't know where that is. So, all you've seen is a well, room... Well, you said you've seen the hallway leading to the hallway leading to the kitchen, right? From the kitchen, there was this dining area that you're in that's just stacked of papers. From this dining area, there's another room off to the other side that has no door. You could just walk into, but you can't. It's kind of dark in there, so you don't really see. Um, but and, did I go in the kitchen? Yeah, you went from the kitchen okay, okay. to this dining gotcha. area. There was nothing in dirty dishes. Yeah. All right, I guess I just followed the hallway and see where it leads. The kind of scan the dark room. I got dark vision, but I'll kind of be able to make out some of the stuff in there. All right. Keldry. Yes. Hero, Hero says, says that's right. Can I can I have this book? We can use this as uh, evidence. Sure. I hate you. All right. She takes the book and says, "We'll study this deeply." But thank you. Um. Do you guys think we should just? keep checking this house i mean he is i'm i'm gonna she says that she's gonna go uh actually to the well does gamma know of the journal's existence yet nope of course so she says i'm gonna go to the left and see what's over here and she just walk opens the door and walks into the room and you kind of get a peek in the room keldry um it looks to be another room just full of papers and books though it really you don't know what kind of room it was supposed to be before that it just looks now like an area just of storing papers and books. Um, Gamma. Yeah. Are you just still searching? God, I don't. I wish I. God. I swear to God, Yancy, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I investigate. All right, your own investigation check. Nineteen. Plus two twenty one. Well, you Black find Jack. you find nothing that would help you with this investigation. However, uh, yeah. you find a newspaper, and in it is an article about the lovely festival of lights at Larnwick. <laughs> Wait, uh, I'm. So focused the town that doesn't make sense. down. I look but at the John. Tape. Am I really the most important yes! thing here? Yes. Not, kinda. Not the town of Larnwick and the little girl that you vowed to protect. Yeah, little I'm Sandra. Fine. I'm still looking for her. Hey, okay, but... Sam. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can't see it because of the way my camera's set up, but I'm pointing at him. So, I, wanna, I wanna look at does the newspaper have a date? Uh yeah. It's dated only about two days ago two or three days ago. Which would have been a day or two before the Festival of Lights that you were at. So we were there before the or after the newspaper was made. It was a, it was an article talking about the upcoming Festival of Lights. At Larnwick. So this newspaper was made about a festival that was happening in a few days that you were at. I, I'm going to just keep this to myself. I put it in the swamp book lady thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, is there any way for me to find out about... I go to Hero and say I've found nothing. How has your search gone? She she says sadly, "Well, this room doesn't seem to have anything, but it looks like it connects to another room, just over there." And you okay, can see in the small room that there's a door on the other end. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna go into that room and check it out. All right, as you open that room, the exact <laughs> same time you open that room and walk in, Aki, you walk into the room from the other from another entrance. Oh, hello. You both see that this was a living space that also has a bed off towards the back. 
So it looks like the old man must have slept here? He didn't have a bedroom? I don't know. He seems very odd, the way he lives his life. Investigation! It's a bit neurotic. Well, did you get you a know, one? Mmm. Like John? I would also like to roll an investigation. Okay. <laughs> 17. I want to be the good guy! So what did you roll anyways, Gamma, real quick? Oh, we all know! It's a one! Sweet! Then you notice... On ones, right? Then you we do not on at all notice, in your, like, huff of being just frustrated, you haven't found anything to, that, um, coordinates with this, um, murder investigation yet? I don't know, it's just weird, you haven't found anything. Keldry, underneath the bed, you find a box, and inside this box that is unlocked... You find many, um, like, I guess they're like, it, like, some images of, uh, this, they're printed images of this, um, uh, Patrice girl, and a lot of them have hearts all over them, and inside you find many love letters that were just never sent to her, but they were definitely addressed to her, a couple of which seems to get a little promiscuous. Can I roll perception? Nope, you rolled a one you on your investigation. Get out of here, Jimmy. I rolled for investigation. Not Wait, for... I'm here for this, right? Uh, Ocarina, Andre, you can roll. You, you can, you or, see that he does that. Andre, um, but Gamma, right now, you are just, Gamma, you are just too frustrated right now to notice any of what's happening. Listen. Listen, Miranda, again, you again, have to help me! Again, I'm going to present it to Hero, much in the way of the last uh, journal I you, entry I you that I presented one. to her. I showing hope you roll that one. He seems to be very, he seemed to have been extremely infatuated to an almost obsessive degree. Alright, roll persuasion. But you get advantage. So I have a good. I have a plus seven to persuasion. That's, is this the case? This is because he found the journal and 26. made a good. Twenty six. She says, "Oh my God, this is exactly what we need." Oh, thank you, Keldry. You, you know, you're a uh, or Wraith. You're a. Uh, you're helping head, this. Your help in this has head. been has gone so far. I'm gonna immediately actually take this now, um, to. Uh, back into town. This is really all I was looking for. Thank you. Um, I guess feel free to search the rest of the house. If you find anything else more, let me know. And she actually leaves. I shall graciously bow as she exits. Ah! Ah! If I did, can I like I roll right to now. see if I could like just swipe the next trip, Kelsey? If I didn't, what was you are gonna try and trip me? I'm just gonna try to swipe my feet under you. Well, if first, I didn't have a headache, I'd first, be my head into the keyboard. First, Aki, I need you to roll perception to see if you even saw him do that. Perception. Yep. <sighs> if you even paid attention, or if you're paying I'm attention totally to Gamma. I'm totally not a bad person. I you just are don't a die. Sixteen. No. No, you know I just what? don't want to die. You know what? It is possible to not die and not have someone die for your crimes. But I mean, the more I make it seem like it's him, the less the chance that they discover that it was me. You understand what I mean? You're still sentencing an innocent man to death because you're an a-hole. But you know what? I gotta live somehow, right? Anyways, guys. <laughs> you're an a-hole! <laughs> Anyways, guys. Aki, oh, you... Head. The only thing you perceived was Hero leaving. But can I just trip Keldry just because I don't like him? <laughs> I don't like him! I mean, you have literally zero reason to think that other than the fact that you know he did assassinate this girl. Well, that's a good reason! Okay, fine. <laughs> John? <laughs> fine, uh... No, I won't, I won't. Keldry, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, you're not, gonna, you're not going to? No, I won't do it. <laughs> Okay, Every so. Campaign I'm in, I'm on loan. So, uh. Hey, hey Miranda. Hmm? So, wait. Take a guess what I rolled. <laughs> I rolled Does a that one. count? Oh. I rolled a one. It doesn't, it doesn't count, though, because you said you didn't do it. 
Oh, so, I for a second he was gonna say he rolled a 20, and I'm no, like, I rolled a one. So there is only, Aki, you know that there's only one door you guys haven't gone through yet. Well, there's two. There was one in the hallway and one from the dining room. Wait, wait, what's one in the dining room? I'm oh, sorry. There, you saw there was, there, you know there's only two doors you guys haven't gone through. One that was in the hallway and one that was in the uh, dining room. I guess I'd check the hallway. So you guys go back to the hall, you go back to the hallway. Does everyone, anyone else follow her there? I guess I follow. I'm trying to find it. evidence to save an innocent man's life. Okay. <laughs> but you don't know that he's innocent. So when you open the I door, have a strong feeling. when you open the door, you see a very tiny, kind of grody bathroom. But you also see another door on the other side, and this bathroom is only like five by five, five feet by five feet wide. Is there like anything aside from the standard toilet and sink? A little Bating. shower, and a lot of like dust and like kind of icky stuff. The equivalent to soap scum everywhere. I roll investigation. I'm not sure. the only one I got who a agrees four. with me. You rolled a so four. I don't find yeah, you shit. don't find crap. But you guys do see that in this My bathroom God. there is another door on the other side. So like you yes, went through this door, there's door. another door right here. Yeah, check out that I will door. Follow Akarina. You open the door to see that it goes down into a very, very dark basement. Hmm. Well, I have dark vision. So. As do I. I will follow. I'm gonna head down the stairs then, I guess. Um. I'm gonna make sure she's in front of me, just in case. Do I feel anything weird about this basement? Like, like it may be... Roll perception. <sighs> How come every campaign I'm in, I'm always one-sided? You're not. Miranda just hasn't been able to perceive what anything to help you. She hasn't told me anything either. Well, she hasn't found anything. That's what I just said. She doesn't. I think he just. For certain. She I just don't. Very All I know, basically, is I left Keldry with the old man saying he wanted to pay someone to go kill the girl, and the girl died. So I mean, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you could give Ome or Gamma that information. I don't trust. Tell Hero. Gamma with that information. So, what was your perception roll, babe? Nine. You don't perceive anything weird about this basement other than it's really dark. Since I was following her, can I make a perception roll? Yeah, sure. Oh, what is my perception? Now, I'm gonna say this is your uh, perception roll from a, a top. This is your perception roll from a top of the stairs. I got a five. Yeah, from up from on top of these stairs, you don't see anything or perceive anything about this room other it's than it being dark. Dark. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna head down the stairs then cautiously. Like okay. watching where my feet are placed, kind of thing. Alright, you head down the stairs. It is very dark, but those of you with dark vision, which would be uh, Aki and I. Does Keldry have dark vision? Yes. Forest so, gnomes have dark vision. So you two. I have a lamp. You two <laughs> can see that this area is very dark, and Gamma, you, are you gonna light up your lamp? Yeah, sure. Okay, so you you can see that this is a very crude basement. It looks like he he might have dug it out himself at some point because it's underground and the walls are all made of dirt. Um, make a perception check, each one of you. My impeccable plus zero and eleven. Perception 16. is... I got a 4! Yay! Aki, you got a 16? Yeah. What did you get, Keldry? 11. Okay. Aki. You mm -hmm. notice what looks like the top of a skull poking out of the ground on, like, 30 feet in front of you. Oh! Um... Well... It's okay, guys. He's innocent. <laughs> Listen, this could just be his brother that died in the house one day, and he buried him down here because that's or, where he loved maybe, to be. Yeah, that's where you buried him. Or maybe lady. he's but Yeah! Oh, you know, we could just give the skull and say, Oh, look! This is the Mastrisa skull! Stay here! 
<laughs> oh my god. So but, shut. but maybe he's haunted and it's an Indian burial ground and he has to salt the bones. <laughs> There's a good reason, man. Could be. So. Huh. Or it's his. That's a, it's a human. Wait, is it a hu What skull is it? Is it All human? you see is the top of the skull. You don't can't tell what it is because it looks like well, the rest of it was underground. The rest of us. Well, I, I guess I kind of want to dig around it a little bit and kind of get the general shape of it. Like not really lifting it out of the dirt, but like moving the dirt away from it. So as you dig it up, you can see that from just digging, it looks like there's more than just one skeleton down here. And they look like they're skeletons of humans. Oh. Maybe, okay, well, maybe how they just dug them up. I'm assuming me, me and Gamma see them. Um, yeah, you see them now too. Can can I investigate or something to tell if they're like old or if they like if they've been there for a long time or if they're more recent? Um, sure, make an investigation or perception, whichever one you like. Better. Nineteen. So, uh. So is it perception or investigation? Either one. Whatever one you I want. feel like it would be more... You can Investigating actually... would be like looking around. I'd say, perfe... I'd pay... I'd say perception. Either I one of them one. works, because you can investigate the skeletons. Either way, both are a plus zero, so really, I got a 19. Alright. Um, They look like they're not more than 10 years old. So they're fairly recent. Relative. 10 years old is not recent. That's it, it. To be fair, gnomes can live up to uh, live up to three hundred and fifty years. So relatively, it is pretty recent. I hate you. I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just cause you are I'm not my friend. Just because I'm good at not spitting my words, friend. even while I'm a little, so, little intoxicated. Being a little you deeper know. into this, uh basement. Make another perception, each of you. Fifteen. Nat twenty. Twenty-one. You two. <laughs> it's a shot. Oh god, that's a shot. Well, first off... Fuck, John! I hate you! <laughs> you know what? This is my game plan. I'm gonna roll for everything. <laughs> everything! And then kill Yancy with intoxication. <laughs> but Fred will die with me. Then what are you gonna do? So, I'm, I'm, I keep pouring whiskey on my fucking so gamma like keyboard mat thing and Aki at the northern wall. You see what looks to be the skeleton of a horned creature up, like chained up against the wall. No. If you had to make a guess as to what this creature was. It was probably a minotaur. Oh. That be here. It has a lot of. With your perception check, you guys can you can see that it has a lot of what look to be some sort of uh, occult symbols painted with blood on them. Hmm. Ha! Huh, I knew it. This old man was fucked. You knew it. I totally it has knew nothing it. to do with the fact that you know you no, don't want to go to jail. I was totally, I was totally pitting it on because I knew he was fucked. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Or for all we know is he dug this, he built the house less than ten years ago, started digging into the basement, then discovered them. Oh yeah, he just he just happened to find a minute. Uh, I will say that this I will say that this house up in the basement. This house seems to be at least sixty years old. Um, and as far in. as and as far as this basement goes, you can't tell how early this was. How like, uh, like how no one this knows exactly what's going on down here until we talk to him, or you know, out of character we run to hero with you know some accusations of made up shit. Hey, John, can you get in the middle of your frame more so you can be on stream again? Thank there you, you go. So, so, so are, are, are you guys going to elude to the fact that there's a, a fucking body or a skeleton chained up on the wall? Well, 
This might be a, a little selfish of me, but I'm really curious as to what the hell is going on. So I kind of want to go upstairs and papers with fresh eyes and see if maybe there's anything here without cults or like ritual. Makes sense. Let's do it. I mean, um, John, you, did you like meta tell us that you found the thing about Wick, or is that just you did you keep that no. to yourself? I've kind of kept that to myself because okay, it's just... not. But okay. if it does seem to come to relevance, I'll bring it out. So where do you go to? The the place you saw the most papers were the dining room and study. I want to go back to the study. Okay. Guess, what about you, well, Keldry? There is one room we haven't I checked out yet. I would like to go to the guards that Hero left behind. Wow. Are you kidding me? No! No, hey, we cannot I'm, jump I'm to, We're not jumping <laughs> I am to conclusions. Extra covering my tracks. We are not guns. jumping to conclusions. Oh, yes, we are. Why? Why do you want to go? I've been doing that the entire time. Gamma looks a little confused. The thing Why do you is, the thing. Well, no, no. The thing is, this? the thing is, I doubt Keldry's telling you this, Gamma. So, you don't know that he's gonna go do this. Yeah, I you don't went to the study. I went over to the guard. God, this is. Uh, you know what? Is Omega always be on our own? It's not so bad. This is legitimately maddening to be on my own. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're technically not on your own. Aki's on your side. She just doesn't really know anything yet she has no real proof that i did it so she's not going to jump to conclusions okay you know because, what i know how to because we're to, tight <laughs> i know how to settle this let us i before we all you know dissipate back into the house to start looking for things let's hold this from the guards until we have a little more insight on this you know instead of just jumping to conclusions like some insane person or asshole i'm not gonna say anything or agree <laughs> anything I All right. Shall simply stay so, silent Gamma, in you're in the study, right? Roll yeah. a roll an investigation check for me. Eighteen plus two twenty. Oh. So you see a drawer that wasn't open while you were looking at it. Um, metagame wise, Keldry had opened this up to find the uh, diary, but when you were looking at it. You look down at it and you kind of notice something. Yeah. The bottom of this drawer, from what you see, looks higher than where the bottom should be. When you search it more, you see that underneath there's a small hole. When you take like a pencil and you poke it up into the hole, you see that a false bottom opens up and inside you find two page papers that he that looks like old man Jenkins wrote on himself on these papers is the following he was right the power he gave me works I can bring them back I can bring them back from the dead they will be my servants and I shall take over this world He's given this to me. This is my birthright. Signed. Great. Signed. Martin Jenkins. Huh. Forty years ago. How old do we think old man Jenkins is? He's got to be like seventy. He's at like the end of his life. Wait, what is he? He's human. Trying to become a necromancer. Well, from what you can tell, it looks like he was trying to be, but at this point, he's too old <laughs> to really worry about it. Okay, so he is guilty of one thing. Well, we don't know if he's actually killed these people. We know there are bodies down there, but he is guilty of one thing, but I will try to find... But you know what? If he was trying to kill people and bring them back, on Why the other, didn't he bring the Bethesda back. On the second page, you didn't read the second page. Oh, sorry. On the second page, oh. it says, um, he oh, will, he, he will, he did. will forever be. Uh, I will forever be in his debt for giving me this power. Who is he? Hashtag sacrifice, John. That's what it ends with. <laughs> 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 I 
No, it doesn't, but... <laughs> oh, I would certainly hope not! <laughs> A gamble looks, who is John? Sounds awesome. But yeah. I'm gonna hold on to these because I intend to go and talk to Jenkins one on one. I do agree though. Answer. Like what Gamma said earlier, kind of like half meta, out loud in character. It might be a good idea to do talk to Jenkins about this. I feel like he would have the most in all of this anyway. If we have proof to pin him, and he has nowhere to really evade the questions, we might be able to get something out. I mean, if if we can get him to admit to this. Why wouldn't he admit to the supposed other crime that he did? Anyway, I'm still going to the guards. That, uh... Oh, you jackass! Okay, so while they're looking at this book, while they're looking at this book, you go out to the guard, the two guards that are standing outside. I want to be. I'm gonna burn Canada down. So what are you doing, Caldry? What are you doing, Caldry? Hello, gentlemen. We seem to have found some bodies in the basement. Bodies. Yes. Well, they can't be more than ten years old, as far as I can tell. Um. Well, he there's, said he said the multiple. one you're the one you're talking to sends the other in, um, and he goes in. Uh, Gamma, Ocarina. Roll. Oh wait, Aki, where are you? With Gamma. Okay, both of you roll perception. God damn it! Bye. What? I got an 8. Mm. I got an 8, too. Neither of you notice this um, guards go by you. Ah! So, Keldra, after a few after, like, a minute and a half, um, the guard comes back and, and shakes his head affirmatively to the other one, and they're both like, well, thank you very much, citizen. We will go tell Hero about this, and honestly, I think after this, Jenkins will be hung tonight. I'm simply going to <laughs> bow and say thank you for your service. <laughs> oh, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> hey, I ain't being a good guy this game. No, you are not! I'm, I'm looking out for myself and nobody no! else. That's no, literally my personality. You are so... a psychopath justifying hey, BS! John, John, do you know what my personality <laughs> trait is? Being an I asshole. am out for myself and only myself. So, the guards so, leave you. So, John, how does it feel to play a game with Omega? No! Omega has <laughs> never, like, pulled this kind of crap. Oh, <laughs> she kinda has. <laughs> Close! But no cigars! So, yeah, they, they, they bow to you and leave and say thank you. Um, they're he you could see that they're headed back to Falconhaven. Um, Keldry, what are you gonna- you- you wanna go back in the house, or what are you gonna do? I shall simply wait outside for, uh, Akarina and... Okay, so- Actually, you know, I'll just go meet up with them. Okay, so you, know you walk in- you... you walk in, and it seems that Gamma and Aki had just finished reading a couple pieces of paper. Um, Gamma, I'm assuming you just stuff them into your bag or something? Yep. Okay, so you, you see Gamma just stuff a piece, a couple of papers in your bat is bad. He didn't roll for it. What it is? Have you found? Uh, you know, you know. It's yeah, fair. yeah. Uh, roll, 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 roll in insight. Uh, roll, roll perception. Roll perception. You yeah. mean perception? Yeah. Sixteen. I would it be against a sleight of hand? I suppose. Yeah, against against Gamma's sleight of hand. So you see Gamma put these papers under his bag. You can just tell based on his facial expression. That's the best part. Yep. What'd you roll, John? Wasn't a 1, but it wasn't <laughs> higher than a 16. Alrighty. What is it have you found, my friend? Something that I'm going back to talk to Jenkins about. May I, uh, may I see it? Depends. Why were you just outside? I was simply talking to the guards. About what? Just the investigation in general. No, you can pretty much tell me exactly what's going on. That is all that was going on. Roll deception what? against Gamma's insight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 
<laughs> Did you nat 20 again? Yep! Against oh, Keldry! Again? Always. And I rolled a 19. Oh my god. You can tell Keldry's lying to you. Yeah, I'm not too happy with that answer. And I noticed the guards aren't in the house well, anymore. It may have been a half truth. Yeah, it no, would have been I a, know how straight it would, it would, No, it would have been a half truth, technically. He did technically speak about them. It was about the investigation. <laughs> so, it was but a half truth. I will allude that it was a half truth. Yeah, well. How about this? Here's my half truth. I found stuff that I'm going to go talk to Jenkins about. Okay, so you're gonna bolt off to Falconhaven, or? Yep. Because oh. unfortunately, I don't know that they intend to hang him tonight. Because I, I will follow Jesus. him. Okay, so as you oh, leave God. to Falconhaven, it's starting to become it's becoming dark, but by the time you reach there, it is nighttime. When you reach the western gates, was it? Yeah, the western gates. You uh are stopped by the guards but they almost immediately notice who you are because you were given permission by um hero herself to come and go as you please so you actually go into the gates no problem and when you go in to find hero you see that uh, old man jenkins is up on a in the middle of the city is up on top of like a platform where the gallows are hanging and he is about to be hanged. I run over to Hero quickly. You don't see... Uh, roll Perception. 19. Okay. Plus 2. 21. Okay, you see Hero in the crowd. I run to Hero. Well, what's going on? We were given enough um, evidence... To convict old man Jenkins, and he is sad he's being hanged. Listen, you have to stop. He is guilty of something, but we don't know the full truth on this. Unless you have something to stop this, right? Unless you have some sort of evidence he did not kill that woman or is not um, deserving of being hanged, you should tell me, you should say it quick. He deserves to be, ha well, we don't know if he deserves to be hanged completely, but like I said, you have to trust me. We, he is guilty of something, but if we just hang him for this, we won't know the full truth of what he's done. Roll perception with advantage. Or roll uh, persuasion with advantage. Persuasion with... Okay, hold on. Persuasion is... Plus three! Okay, that's a nine. Nine! Total? <laughs> Wait, or? nine plus three? No... Six plus three. Oh. Um. Uh, I mean, dear. I did would... I go with uh, Gamma? I'm sure you like, followed. Okay. Him. Yeah. Can I help him out with that? <laughs> sure. You roll one more time, Gamma. Okay. Wait. Okay. Can I just add one more thing to it? Sure. There may be more crimes that he's committed, but those people that he may have hurt, we won't be able to give them justice if we don't find the truth. All right. Roll persuasion one more time. Let's try this real quick before you tell me what it is. Mm! Before you tell me what it is. What is the universe? Uh, let, me, let me tell before you tell me what it is. Uh, roll persuasion to persuade Keldry. <laughs> Just try it. Just try it. <gasps> is it a nat 20? <laughs> it's a 9! <nine. laughs> uh, total? So against my insight? Well, what was the last one anyways? Uh, don't, it wasn't real. I just wanted it to see was a, a 7! So 7 plus 3? No! Oh. I mean, I'm sure... I'm sure whatever you found... Um... L listen, can't uh, Ori... I can't ever remember the name. Can she run up and, like, talk to her, too? Who? Or something? Miranda's character, um... Ocarina? I, I uh, mean, Ocarina. I'm, I'm there with she, you. She so already helped you, that's why you got that extra... No, she didn't say anything. I mean... Well, yeah. well... Ah! <sighs> All right. There's gotta be something that I gotta do. I'm gonna kind of like just shush Gamma because he's freaking out and he's mammering about nonsense. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty much. And as, I'm just gonna really discreetly. Wait, as you're up. doing this, as yeah. you're doing all this, 
you see that old man Jenkins is being put up to in, onto a stool to get his put his neck through the noose. Got it. That's where he is at All this right. very moment. Turn kind of like I like to Gammon, just kind of discreetly, just say, "If this hanging's not stopped, we're gonna have to stop it. Something bigger than this is happening." He has information about Larnwick. He looks like he's been studying necromancy, trying to figure out like some, some revival stuff. There's dark things going on. Jenkins, because of your crimes against the people of this city for murdering the mayor's daughter, Patrice, you will be hanged here on this day. That's where you are right now. The guy is saying the the guy is. Uh huh. Well, I mean, I'm kind of like waiting for Gamma to give some sort of reaction, like to what I said, unless I have to roll something. No, I mean, as you can see, no one is going to stop this. Hero, I'm really sorry. I point the orb towards the noose or the top of the noose. My orb. Okay. And use Elder Eldridge Blast. Your blast shoots and hits the rope, breaking it. At this, huh. everyone turns to you. John did my thing. And Hero says, <laughs> "Why? Why would you do this?" Because there's more going on to here, and it also crosses into what we need. What uh, a missing girl that I'm looking for, and that man, he knows more. And if we kill him now, the information that I need to save a little girl's life and bring justice to those who may have been hurt by him, we will never find out. We can hang him if we find him guilty, Fine. but there's more that Gamma. he needs to tell us. Fine. If you're willing to go to this, if you're willing to go to this <laughs> length, yeah. we will postpone his hanging one more day. <laughs> I'm trying okay? to be the good guy. I'm trying to be super good. It's really hard. So they take. He took away my glory. I'll, I'll I was gonna honest, shoot with an arrow. Honest, John, nope. Being evil, oh, so easy for me. I hate you. <laughs> oh, being evil is fun. After having to be goody two shoes core, the fact that I didn't just go like neutral evil and go around murdering people just for fun. Is a surprise. You, know what? you know what? You don't have to go straight cold turkey. You could just be, you know, okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going straight cold turkey. But this was this was required to not have me myself hung. Therefore, it is a need. So Listen, we could find a way to make it show your. I was I was willing to help search for the parents of Audrey to make sure that they were unharmed and okay. And I was also helping to search for Audrey to make sure that she was safe. Despite knowing that she is with our companions, probably safe. She has done nothing wrong, and she is not in the way of my safety. Jenkins, though. Jenkins is the key to my safety. He's dying. Okay, so... Oh god, I gotta read the chat really quickly before we can do <laughs> just like to what John just did, like there's reactions of like, oh shit man, and then Keyblade goes off. The guy who started the hashtag sacrifice, John. John just went against the law. That is true, neutral good. As long as he can do whatever it takes, including stopping someone from dying by going against the law, John figured it out. And then, um, Ryder goes, I'm feeling weird about this John being nice. <laughs> At this point, uh, we should say, um, everyone watching, the Chrono King, which is this campaign, my homebrew that I've wrote, um... If you want to continue watching it, in the next few sessions, it will become my um, stream only. So you should come over to my stream, Box Wizard, or Box Wiz, sorry, I and gotcha. follow. Miranda will put a link in there because that's yeah, where this uh, is. Does that be. mean I can't stream this anymore? You can if you want. But it's I might stream it here and there, but it's not going to be like my dedic. Yeah, between me and Miranda, I'll be the only one streaming it every time. Also, does everyone like the nice overlay I made? I like it. Yeah, actually, I kind of like it. Uh, also, I, I like what the loading crew said. I don't know who that is, but he's just like, my stream, my game. 
<laughs> so, anyways, back to the game. Um, you see that Jenkins is taken back to the jail, the, the jail, right? Um, and it's nighttime now. Kira says, "Gamma, get some rest, and come by but, tomorrow, and you, we can let you talk to him." You don't want me to do it tonight because tonight, I don't got a lot of time. Tonight will be won't be won't work. Tomorrow morning, first thing you can come by and talk to him. Okay. Also, you I'm owe very us. Sorry. Also, you owe us a new rope. <laughs> I will do. I will admit to everything that I've done, like destroying the rope after we get all this settled. Actually, admit the thing now. I will pay for all the destruction that I had caused. Okay. He broke a rope. It's like a gold. So. Is that I don't got gold. So, <laughs> as you guys know, you're going to need to find an inn or at least someplace to sleep. Mm hmm. Uh, I want to look to Gamma, kind of like with like approval, but he just did, and I want to kind of like give him a small pouch of like 20. Oh, okay, so Gamma, you're giving 20 gold from Aki. When she's Thank like you. his rant about like how he's going to fix everything. <laughs> I'm like, she oh, that poor man. Give him the dirty blood money. <laughs> no, that was my clean money. Oh, okay, you gave him the clean money. <laughs> so you're keeping the dirty blood money for yourself. Got it. So you're gonna go find an inn. Hero actually points to where <sighs> the inn, the the best inn is in town, which is the uh, freaking nap all day inn. Oh, I'm so tired after today. <laughs> um, when you walk into the Napo Day Inn, you, there's a less than enthusiastic woman uh, behind the counter saying, It'll be ten gold apiece to sleep here. Mm. I give her ten. I set the gold pieces down on the counter. Very good. Here are your keys. And she gives you a couple of keys to a couple of the rooms. What about you, woman? Well, I mean, how many... Ten gold's pretty steep. It's one bedroom, ten gold. Hmm. Why are you so glad? Because life has no meaning. That sounds like another case I'll have to take care of after this. <laughs> Bring joy to this woman's life! <laughs> Sorry, my best friend died the other day. Oh, I'm so I'm sorry. Sure you say sorry. Anyways, that's ten gold <laughs> for a room. <sighs> ten. Very well, here's your key. You guys go to your rooms. I'm assuming you sleep. Then you get a long rest. Also talk in your mic better, Miranda. Now. You guys get a long rest, so heal up on whatever you also. need. Is it just like a quick? Okay. What was my uh my, my 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 weight limit again? To when you can leave? No, no, oh no. wait, my, my yeah, uh, how much I, can carry. I think like seventy six to like a hundred and eleven or something was your max. Seventy six? I don't know. Can There's you double check that for me real quick? Because okay, so if I buy the uh seventy seven to uh, one hundred and fifteen. Okay, so if I end up buying the climbers kit like I want to, I'll be at 75.5 weight. You will still technically be at a medium load. Just barely! Yeah, let's go! I don't want to <laughs> play Dark Souls with Yancey anymore. <laughs> <laughs> John, John, don't hate the player, hate the game. I hit no! So, the player's choosing the game! So, you wake up, Gamma. After a mm -hmm. long rest, and you know immediately what you want to go do. I go straight to the prison without telling any my two friends. Friends. Wow. So you wake up early. It's nothing against you. you. All right. <laughs> I want that to ring in your ears when you feel guilty about it. Trust so, me, everything yeah. will be good. You go to the prison where Hero was outside waiting for you already. Come in. Ha, ha. If you want to Hi, talk Hero. to him. I'm ready. And he is already in the interrogation room that you were in before. He says, 
He saw. He knows that you had broken his rope and says, "Thank you. I was gonna die yesterday." Oh. Stop now. What? So we're gonna talk, and you're going to admit to the things I found in your home, so that I know when you don't admit to the other thing, I know you're innocent. But here's the thing: I put the papers down on his desk of the necromancy work. How do you spell hero's name? It's actually H E R O, just like hero. Oh, I've been spelling it wrong this whole time. I've been spelling it J-A-C-K-A-S-S. That doesn't yeah. even... Jackass? <laughs> there we go! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, anyways. <laughs> anyways, um, admit to what? What did you find? We found bodies and a minotaur with symbols drawn on them. And this paper of your handwriting about making them your servants. Listen, that was a long time ago. But I need to know, did you kill those people? No, they were given to me. They okay, were already we're skele progress. they were already skeletons when I had gotten them. Who gave them to you? A man. Well, not really a man. His name was Azazel. Azazel. How's that? A Z A Z L E. Hold on. A Z L Z. A Z A Z L E. Is it okay? He gave me a little black stone, and I was able to raise the dead with it. Since then, it got stolen from me. Okay. That was almost 40 years ago. <coughs> Use it on Patrice. <coughs> oh, yeah. Well, no, I don't know that. Don't know what? Because you know what that, the, the journal <laughs> and all that. I don't know that he was in love with her. Cause some you don't have to know that to know she's dead. Oh, she's dead. I thought you said he was in love with her. Wait, I thought he would know that because that's the whole... He would been told he's here because he murdered Batrista. I mean, unless they've just been brought in, bringing him in here this whole time saying, you killed a person. What, wait, Fred? what's that? John didn't hear my... Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, what are you guys saying? <laughs> what? What did you okay, say, Maria? I coughed. And said, "Use it on Patrice," but then John didn't hear that, and I wasn't. Oh, that's, well, he that's said that. Dead. No, he said well, the stone the was stole. stolen. Yeah. Um. I thought you said that. I get the rest. She was dead. Um. I mean, Patrice being dead is honestly okay. one of the saddest things that have ever happened for me. And I have done things that now I am no longer proud of. Okay. Another question. I pull out the uh, newspaper of the city or the Festival of Lights. What do you know about this? The Festival of Lights? I've never heard of it. It was in your house, this newspaper clipping. Unless you do know, you that, you do know that there was a lot of newspaper clippings. Like they were hoarded. This is just one you found. Uh, okay. Uh, I just maybe that's was, like, maybe waiting. that's some town somewhere. I I don't know. I'm I. Uh, you told me that it was just hoarded, so I can't roll investigation to think like maybe he's lying. Never mind. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. We're gonna. I'm gonna go get Hero. You're going to admit to all of this stuff, proving that you're willing to admit to your mistakes, and then she's going to realize if you're admitting to this. And yet you claim that you did not do it. It makes sense that you did not do it. Okay. So you go get As... Hero. Or you, Hero walks in because she was there. Okay. She was, she was just outside the door. You let her in. And he says the same thing to her. And I want you to roll his Ooh. persuasion. So when you fail... 16 plus something. 
Give me a second. Give me a second. Gotta get my character sheet. Where is that? There it is. Persuasion is plus three. Nineteen! Gamma. It's his persuasion. It's his persuasion. Oh, what's so, his persuasion? It might not be a plus three. So he sa so so Gamma uh Hero says to you, Gamma. Yeah. I'm still almost certain he was the murderer. But in light of these new things, he will not die. However, he will spend the rest of his life in these this prison. I understand Just that. Just uh, based that. Here, purely <laughs> off of what he did with those bodies. He deserves I don't to be think, punished. I don't think he's telling you the full truth. No, but he we're getting more out of... Okay. He said this happened 40 <laughs> years ago. My men say that those dead bodies were no more than 10 years old. Well, we gotta go fi see if we can... Well, we have two leads. We have to go track down the person that supposedly gave him these bodies, if he's willing to cooperate with that. And I'm glad that he will be punished for the things that he attempted to do. And that uh, we'll keep him alive for more information. When you say that, he's like... He says... Azazel? You'll never find him. I don't even know where he is. He just came to me one day and offered power. <laughs> oh, before I forget. You're going to be spending a long time in here, but a friend, someone who actually did seem to kind of like you, gave me this. I guess I give him the green tea that I've been holding up. <laughs> Though it's... Now kind of cold, he seems kind of elated to have it, <laughs> and he just drinks it right up. Um, no, no. I kind of want to hush to hush to a uh, hero. May the only solace this man seems to ever had in his life was the green tea. Is it okay if he has that daily? No. Okay. For his crimes, even if he didn't kill that woman, he doesn't deserve it. Okay. And he, she has the guards bring him back to the jail cell. <sighs> okay. But because of you, it looks like the uh, the uh, the investigation for Patrice's murder is still is still open. I just wish we could have found more evidence than these pieces of paper at his house. Well, I mean, your friend here gave me I knew gave me a journal that showed that he was obsessed about it, and all these like love letters and whatnot. I'm Wait. sure you saw them, right? No, no one told me that you had these, or who gave these to you? Oh, Wraith, Wraith. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> I'm glad he uh, gave these to you. Keep them as evidence. Maybe you'll find more about his necromancy. I'm going to go see what else I can find out about this murder. So, Reth and Aki, you wake up. Beautiful. Or Keldrian Aki. You wake up, nice long rest. It's in our room. Like, what are your rooms like? Yeah. They're pretty nice. One bedroom, um, a little snack bar, uh, a, a, a comfy chair next to fire a fireplace. By the outside, there was a lot of chimneys, so you can assume there's probably a fireplace in every single room. Go see. Yeah. I feel like that would be a fire hazard. Not the way the house. You're a fire hazard. hazard. Yeah, you're a fire hazard. Shut up, Yancy! <laughs> <laughs> I find it hilarious. Shit. Okay. I find it funny that, like, he was, like, when, every time John yells at Yancy, he's yelling directly at the photo of Yancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Also, I kind of like how our fucking. Our positions completely switched. Did they? Yeah, how he was the lawless, like, oh, more evil one, and now, and I was the good guy. Omega was never teacher. necessarily and now it's evil. completely swapped. Omega was never evil, she was just chaotic. 
Hey, yeah, yeah, Yancy, technically I'm chaotic too. You're the yeah, Yancy, but... you're the closest to being evil so far. Well, I'm fully aware. <laughs> but I'm only doing it for even... money, not necessarily evil evil reason. Um Lolin snack bar? So uh what? what do you what do you guys wanna do? Well I mean there's not really much in the room to really do other than sleep and Well you do know that Gamma was gonna get up to talk to Jenkins this morning. I guess I'd get up and then head over to Gamma's room. Gamma's good. Was it? Was there anything? Yeah, you I kind of figured just... that, but I had to go to. Uh, then I guess I'll head over to Keldry's room. Uh, Keldry, you just woke up and you heard a knock at your door. I will open up the door. It to is. Kick him in the nuts. You greet Ocarina. I'm basically gonna push Keldry kind of into the room and close the door behind me. And... A chat. A chat. Kick him in the nuts. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have to know. Did you do it? What are you referring to? Oh my god. Seriously, man. You just throw like 250 gold at me and give me that look. It's hard not to think you have done some sinister things. I simply wanted to apologize for putting you in an uncomfortable situation. That is all. Hey, I've been traveling with you for a while. I know you don't have that money. You got it from someplace. And why would I not have that money? Because you don't. I know these things. I mean, we've been traveling for a while. I mean... You don't just give money away. I know you. You're greedy. Again, it wasn't for nothing. Mm. You were put into a rather uncomfortable situation due to my own arrogance. I simply wanted to apologize for it. I feel like I'm still in that situation. <laughs> well, I I apologize if I am making you feel. No, nope, I feel like I'm still in that situation. If you know what I'm saying. I mean, <laughs> I've already given you money. No. I've already Don't given turn you evil. My apologies. It, it would be a shame if Hero were to find out about a a certain old man. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Oh my. I don't know how to feel about this, but you know. So, Aki, roll persuasion. Um, Yancy, I need you to roll a charisma save. Okay. Against Miranda's persuasion. It's an 8, so luck with that one. <laughs> You mean the roll that I get a plus three to that I also roll a fourteen on? Oh yeah. Uh. Yeah, you feel like Aki will would actually won't, won't say anything. She's just bluffing you. I, I would like to be able to give you answers to everything, but I simply don't have the answers that you're looking for. Yeah. What happened is regrettable, but. As far as I can tell, because I smell bullshit. Right there, liar. Just hear Omega in the background, just like, what was that? So, Omega or Gamma? All I'm saying, all I'm saying, Killjoy, I'm not gonna let a man die for something that I'm pretty sure he didn't do. Can I say for the first time ever I mean, in these D&D &D streams, hashtag John1. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, yeah. That's not the full victory. All the evidence Something. points to him. And even if he didn't kill Patrice, there is many other crimes that he is yet to pay for. There is that. <sighs> how, could you, how could you defend a man? Oh, I'm not defending him. I'm not defending him. I just clearly do not want to see someone die. Listen, you are for punished reasons. for the things you do. They do. Yeah. But I mean, again, all the evidence points to him. Right. They saw an old man. I, I know you guys. You guys can actually do it. No, you don't. Um. Right there, Roll insight. You might have an idea. We'll see. Right there. There's an asshole. Right there. I got my laser pointer right on him. Uh, eight plus five. <laughs> so, three. 
8 plus 5? 18 plus 5. Oh, oh. Yeah. You know he has a disguise kit. You've seen him use it. In your adventures. <laughs> I don't get to make a deception. No. <laughs> you guys have been traveling for a while, so at this point, if if she's gonna know, she's gonna know. Anything you want to say to that? I mean, disguise kid or not, making a transformation like that is just unimaginable. I feel like he'd have the roll. Now you can make a deception roll. <laughs> Um, Auntie, and, man. and to Aki's uh, insight. 18. Insight. What was it? Say it louder. 10! 10. 10. Plus? That's it. Well, 5 plus 5. Well, he, I got an 18, so. He's thoroughly. Well, technically um, an 11 plus 7, but yeah. He's thoroughly convinced you he couldn't t tell, uh, make himself look that different. To be fair, I'm a 30 year old gnome. To make myself look like an old man, especially to make myself look like an old human male, despite me being like three feet tall, would be quite a fucking transformation. There was another one of him. He had an associate. <laughs> he sat on his shoulders. <laughs> Children do. We were actually two gnomes sitting <laughs> on each other's shoulders to make us appear taller. God. He admits to it! He admits it! <laughs> Holy fuck, John. Alright. I right. want you in jail! <laughs> Look, Keldry, I'm not I'm not putting you in this situation to make you con I just feel like what you do is what you do. I just feel as comrades we should be honest with you. I need to be able to trust you if we're gonna continue And I have been honest. I heard the old man out. I disagreed with him. Hmm. And I left. I didn't know. That sounded evil. Kick him in the nuts. I feel like I'm in a soap opera now. With the music <laughs> playing and everything. <laughs> like, the music is so, like, dreary and dramatic. Put I put you in an uncomfortable situation bringing you with me. So, to apologize for that, I gave you some gold to compensate. <sighs> I figured it was better than just a regular apology. Am I gonna show up anytime? I still feel like this is out of character, but I think at this point I'm gonna. What was that? That last part? Dispute. I said I kind of still get a hunch that he has something to do with it, but I'm gonna back out of the like dispute and just accept that for now. But I'm still gonna be a little hesitant. Okay. Cautious of him. Well, Gamma, you finished talking to Jenkins. He's been put back into his cell. What are you gonna do? I guess I'm gonna head back to the hotel because I found out that uh, my friend <laughs> supposedly gave evidence and things without talking to the rest of the team. So in the middle of this conversation that Aki and Keldry are having, you hear Gamma say, Keldry! He shouted. <laughs> and then I kick in the door like a badass. Well, that would be why I'd back down. <laughs> <sighs> what is this about now? <laughs> I found out, uh, someone gave, uh, some evidence to Hero without fully, you know, talking to the team or collaborating that almost someone jumped to a conclusion. Like a Am I simply supposed to withhold information from the guards? No, but it seems that you made some accusations rather than discuss I or I merely made think some speculations, it. nothing more. Speculations aren't good. You know what they say about speculations and Speculations are all we have. Hmm. What more is an investigation than a, than a, than a speculation? You know, Keldry, uh, persuasion, gamma, insight. <laughs> is it another 20? <laughs> is it legit another 20? Oh my I god. I believe I can fly! So for some reason, Gamma can just read Keldry like a book. Yeah, but Keldry, I'm 18. Yeah, that's another shot, too. You know, can we just I make got... Yancey just play all the characters that I need to roll against? <laughs> <laughs> bottoms up, bottoms up. Look at but my red But to be fair, cup. I was telling the truth in a way. 
Not necessarily. You seem to be trying to push all this evidence onto someone else. Almost I'm like you don't want. Speculate. Almost like you don't want us. I told no lies. I want to finish my talking. I gave no false information. No, but I simply it seems... pointed out what was in front of me, and what was in front of Hero. So Miranda, what uh, how many shots is that? Nine. Holy crap. My dice just slid underneath my computer. Holy hell, the shady guy is like the best role player at deflecting the accusation. Right? <laughs> I mean, hey, if you're gonna make your character all of that, you gotta be prepared. I mean, if you were so concerned about finding the truth about this, it almost seems like you don't want us to help. That you're just wanting to all the fingers pointed at one person. If I was looking for the truth, why would I not present it to the guards? You got a point. I'm just saying, it is odd you, you, that you didn't are you tell me that they are incompetent. No, but it seems that we've been traveling. Do you for a not while. trust Hero? It almost seems like you don't trust us. It has nothing to do about not trusting you. No, but you seem to run off before even talking to your traveling buddies that. We've been together for so long. You were simply in the same room as me, occupied with something else. Listen, I'm all for helping Hero find the truth. But I don't jump to conclusions without facts. And neither have I. I simply pointed out different points of evidence. Points of reference. Can I roll just not to and believe him? Because I really don't! You don't? I mean, I, don't want to... I, I guess I can go another deception against insight. <laughs> 14 plus... I got a 10 plus 7, so 17. 14 plus perception... Fucking 16. It'd be insight, John. Oh, insight? Yeah, uh... 16. I got a 17. Oh, well, that's sad. Thank God for expertise, boys! <laughs> so, yeah, he's... He's... Pretty successfully deceived you into... At least... He's deceived you... He's talked to you so, like, around the... He, 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 he's, he's pulled you around so much that at this point... You're dropping... You feel like Yeah, you're tired and feel <laughs> dropping it. You're just like, ugh, no more. Well, all all's you know is you've got Jenkins off the death penalty. And the investigation's been reopened. So, if you excuse me, I'm going back out to help with that. Alone. So you're gonna... Do you trust me? You're gonna keep investigating? No. I'm just not going... I'm just gonna take all the things I find straight to the guards. Alright. I mean, I agree that that is the best course of action. Exactly, so... So... <laughs> I'm gonna see if someone's gonna be about to get a brain blast. All I three don't of you. Do serious all, all three of you. you all three of you. Write. Uh, do insight just real quick to see if anybody gets a brain blast. God damn it! Brain yeah. blast. Hey Fred. Is it oh, a net damn. twenty? Hey Fred, take a Whoa. shot, buddy. Oh Keldry. <laughs> Number ten. Keldry. Everything just hit you really hard. <laughs> Gerald and Mortimer and Beef went to a mine to go find a missing convoy, but there's been goblin attacks recently. All of a sudden, you just realized what happened to Mortimer, Gerald, and Beef. 